Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Ready for part two? So, ultimate crisis happened, and uh, we haven't really encountered too much. We've we've seen them, but we haven't really encountered them. Uh, I guess they're just sort of building up. Yeah, but so are we. Hmm. All right, uh, let's see. What are we up to now? So, Bellacor. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Probably think about getting rid of that spawn of Zinch. Yeah, I've got no Zinch authority. Let me just see what's available here. Uh, no, not right now. Who is the strongest in the endgame crisis, like in terms of strength rankings? At the moment, the Sentinels are. Then, um, Caravan of Blue Roses, then Grimgore, then Karazza Karak. Alright, let's have a look here. So, Bellicor has already moved, let's have a look at what we can level him up with. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's get Messenger of the Great Undivided. Do we really need that? Uh, I'd say at this point here, that's not very important. So I might just hold off on that for now. His magic line is done. We haven't gone down his red line at all yet, because I wasn't sure on what we were going to do. Whether or not we're going to go with just aspiring champions for him. I know that he's technically like Lord the demon dude. Torment. But, I don't know. I just, I don't really want to go down demons with him. I just don't want to. Faction ability does allow him to reduce um, upkeep costs on demons. Mm. No, I just don't know. Call me master. Uh, you get a little bit of upkeep reduction in the all authority. It's not just undivided authority. It says here that you would only get um, upkeep reduction for marked units. So I would, you're right, I would reduce upkeep costs on the blood letters and the spawn of Zinch. But that, oh, and probably this dude here. Because he is no marked. Yeah. I don't know if that's worth putting a point into right now. The like, up, upkeep's not a, not a big prince. issue. Uh, let's, uh, let's make him a better fighter for now. Let's see what I can find. Skill acquired. This guy here is just defending this area for the time being. <laughs> yes. Azazel, Prince of Damnation. Magic of Change. And then, do we go after the Twisted Towers? Isn't, um... Yeah, Sigvald is back. Okay. All authority mechanic is kind of meh. Yeah, I agree. More authority means more replenishment, upkeep reduction, so it's good to pick it. O only for... The four token. Only for marked units, though. Which, I've only got three in the army. It's really not that big of a deal. Ever change. If you have come to barter, all I offer is eternal ag Okay. Infinite knowledge. Alright, we've got a lot of force in here to deal with. 
Yeah, there's a lot. But Azazel's coming, so he'll be able to reinforce. Meet your fate. Hmm. No, we definitely can't auto resolve that. That would be a gigantic mistake. That's a very stretched PNG of Sig World. Yeah, I know. Gives your throw to all four gods as well. Yeah, I know, but who cares? Okay, let's have a look here. How should we go about this? Should we do well, let's have a look at the map. Should we deny enemy reinforcements, or should we... Probably not. Alright, this guy's a metal wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I remember what we were doing with him. Uh, let's see. I don't have any... I don't need artillery, uh, because I've got the thing. Um, Alright, let's just jump in. Let's see how we go. What is your opinion on the Boys of Cash rework? One of the best reworks? Just alright. Eh, it's alright. <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of the stuff um, really resonates with a lot of the community, but it doesn't really resonate with me, because a lot of it is like to side grades all over the place. Um, and a lot of the stuff that's actually cool is part of the DLC, not actually part of the rework. So I played the Warriors of Chaos without the DLC, and it kind of sucks. So the rework on its own is a bit meh, but the DLC adds a lot of stuff to it as well, so it makes it a lot better. Whereas the Beastman one, you didn't need the DLC for it to be awesome. Alright, so I reckon we destroy these two towers here, and then advance in. It's good that we don't have to bring artillery to most fights, just use the Shatterstone ability. And it being Slanesh means that we don't have to worry about really any missile units. Ooh, hang on. It's tempting to like blow up some of this stuff here, especially this dude here. I think I'm gonna try it. Even yeah, because they're not activating that tower anyway. Because that dude has a chance of dying. Yeah! Killed him! Killed one of their heroes. Nice. Can you see him in there? Mmm, no. Yeah, really good ability, that one. Auto Resolve seems a lot more brutal OG players than last game. Mm, it's because we got damaged units, that's all. Oh, okay, now they're activating the tower, but now I've only got one of them. Uh-oh. Still, killing a hero is pretty good. And these are only basic towers. I guess not that, not that big of a deal. Uh, I guess I could create a breach here, and maybe they'll get off the wall. Maybe. Mostly waiting for my reinforcements. I want Az Azazel to come in. Alright, let's create a breach here. Because, yeah, the towers aren't really that big of a deal anyway. God damn, look at that unit just get obliterated from it. Chaos is magic. Alright, once you start generating magic for me, please. Their souls. This is really good on a Zinch character, but he's already got one that he, that he needs. Uh, try causing rebellions to Nagel Farlings to take your territory back. Who, who cares? Don't worry about it. No, it's not worth the effort. Can you run in with doggos to Captain Town Square? Uh, not against Slanesh. No, no, no way. I'd get caught. They're too quick. If it was Nurgle, yeah, maybe. But against uh, against Slanesh, you usually can't just go and cap the Town Square. Not unless you're really, really quick, which we're not. So I'm just I'm just waiting for Azazel to show up. 
Uh, I'm gonna swing around over here, maybe bomb the guys up this way. Yeah, he can just run up this way because even if the towers shoot him, the barriers got him covered. Yeah. We can bail off Gore Confederate now. Everyone. Every warrior is the Curse Lord, so we can get all eight. But currently, Kolek is dead, but I believe we can revive him. So, I've so far confederated Azazel and, and Sigvald. Man, this, this is going to give this guy so much experience, heading him towards um, Demon Princehood. Just fighting on Azazel. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way we'd get there. It's too many fast units, we'd get slaughtered on the way approach. What I'm trying to do here is, uh, at least try to get this one crumbling. Oh, one more cast might do it. So that at least no one's on the towers here. Oh, hang on, there we go, that's good, that's good. Alright, the Zazel's here. Here he is. Oh my god, what a mess. Alright, let's uh, start making our way up here. <coughs> Sometimes you just can't stop it. Can Metal Lord become Demon Prince? Yep. You Chaos Spawn. Yuck. I guess what we could do with the, these fast units is, at some point, get them to go around the side. But I'd say trying to cap this is kind of pointless, especially now that so many towers have been built. Right, Azazel, let's see how you go. So you got Demon Blade and Temptator. How big Pimpin Azazel treat you? This is the first battle that we've actually fought with him since confederating him. See if we can take out some of these wizards. The demon blade first. Very well. Good, he kicked that guy's ass without him getting hit. Very nice. Good job. Alright, let's start with using just the aspiring champions. Going through this breach. We've got some fairly undamaged mortals, we'll send them in first. And same thing with this. Looks like they're using Melkoth on that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, they are. Alright, 
Are aspiring champions an OP unit for Chaos? They can be. They're not necessarily at the moment. You've got to get the technologies for them. That's what makes them overpowered. At the moment, they're just, they're like, they're good, but they're, they're not. They're not necessarily overpowered. Alright, come on guys, in here. Let's go. Is the Slanesh direct damage spell good? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I don't Do I have it? Mm, might be okay, I'm not sure. Oof! My Forsaken got wrecked. Good thing I don't care about it. Casting this one here, yeah, I think this is what's doing a good job. I'm glad that the one unit that got wrecked right at the start of those Forsaken. When you descend to Demon Hood, all your defeat traits will be removed. Oh, really? Um, well, this guy here doesn't have any defeat traits, so that's fine. He, de he didn't defeat Sigvold. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, oh well. What are you going to do? This is working. Kind of pushing us back here a little bit, though. But all the Slanesh demons are pretty weak against all this magic coming down on them. Especially because they don't wear much armor. It doesn't do a ton of armor piercing. Good, enemy lord's wounded, good job as usual. So he's already done bad at castle damage, but good. I can use flame storm. Uh no, actually I'm gonna keep using uh, Searing Doom. It's only three wins of magic, and it's doing just fine. Like flame storm is definitely good. But we don't have many put, uh, points put into it right now, so I don't think it's a good idea right now. Alright, get his Azel out of there, take too much damage. That's a lot of demonets. Alright, if I pop down the flame spell, there is a good chance I'm going to hit my own units. Oh well. <laughs> well, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, no! No! Oh yes! Uh, it's okay, it's only hitting the trolls. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's not doing that much damage for ourselves. Yeah, there we go! There we go. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> that was very bittersweet. Oh, 
Legend, why did you use Flamestorm? Oh my god, it's a very powerful spell, but you know, you... Yeah, you, you take what, you know, it's not always perfect. Is that it? Are we done? Yep, army losses. Damn, that was pretty quick. For, you know, two armies. Army losses, come on. So what are we waiting on here? Am Ramirez did a five dollar submission. Hey Legion, enjoying the Women's Three content. Thanks for the Rift Breaker suggestion. Enjoying that in between Immortal Empires a lot. All right, no worries, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. Thanks for the chat. There must be like a single entity that's decaying somewhere, or maybe there is an actual unbreakable unit. I'm gonna send a Zazel to go have a little scout. They might have a um. Yeah, they might actually have like a Chaos Spawn or something. I'll send them in to go and go and cap points. Oh, there it is. There it is. They do have a cow spawn there. There it is. Oof. We did a fair bit of damage. Uh, but to Marauders, that's fine. As long as none of them get wiped out, they keep getting experience, eventually they become Warriors of Chaos, Chaos Warriors, and eventually become Inspiring Champions. What's Rift Breaker? It's a game that I recommended a uh, stream or two ago that uh, I really like. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the amount of damage that was done to us. We'll recover pretty quick, and that was... That's basically that ward dealt with. You can mark your Marauders for Cinch so they get Barrier. Yep, you absolutely can. But if you do that, you can't make them into Aspiring Champions, which is what I want. I know you hate Spawn, but somehow they always seem to get a shit ton of kills in my campaigns. So maybe that's because I'm not on Legendary. Um, it, it depends on what they're fighting. Uh, I just think, I just think that there are better units to use than Spawn. Yeah, they really try hard to get rid of that. Good amount of experience. Yep. Infinite knowledge will. I'm already their overlords. Alright, let's have a look. So this guy here gained four levels from that, so that was really, really worth it. Uh, let's have a look here. What should you get? Doesn't really matter, because you're going to become a demon prince soon. Oh, man. That's why his winds of magic is so damn cheap. Like three winds of magic. Let's have a look here. Corrupt mage. How are you going for winds? Yeah, you're good. Melee attack for Forsaken and Chaos Spawn. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, giving him more barriers is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. But uh, we need a little bit of time for that. Uh, I'm not sure what to get here. Oh, he's on a disc of Zinch. Uh, that could be good. That could be good. We'll see. Azazel, Prince of Damnation. Because, yeah, alright, let, let's have a look here. If we were to go Cinch, right, 
They can eventually become chosen, but then they can't become aspiring champions. We could eventually make them into Doom Knights of Zinch. What if we went Slanesh with Azazel? What what should we do with him? I don't I don't think it'd be interesting for us to just make nothing but um, aspiring champion armies. I haven't researched the technology for his Slanesh based stuff. Uh, but if we were to give doesn't Slanesh have like the worst warriors like Chaos Warriors? The Chosen of Slanesh Hellscourge, they're rubbish, right? Yeah, apparently they they just straight up suck. I never put a foot wrong. Yeah. I really don't know what we're doing with uh Oh that's right, that's right. We weren't Um with Azazel we were going with Hero Spam. That's right, I remember now. So I just I'm trying to remember. Hell Scourge is a trash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were gonna go with Hero Spam with him, so don't worry don't worry about that. That's why I got these guys. So with the path to glory, um, we definitely need some more of this. We should uh, devote to Nurgle for at least one so that we get the healer. So what's this guy's trait? Dark Fury. Let me just see. Infernal Dominance. Yuck. That's probably going to change, isn't it? Let me just check over here it was all to my unearthly my reflexes plan. right ever change choose me master choose me master the exalted betrayer okay i'm going to devote this guy to nurgle see if it changes his trait it did. Slaughterer's Strength. And he got Marked Hero. How entertaining. And as the dude of Nurgle, eventually we can give him Stench Ridden. So that should be pretty good. Mm-hmm. Eventually. Allowing him to heal Azazel. Hellscourge is done of AP damage. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is give him Drive for Perfection. See, character experience gain 50% all heroes. Yes. And also the melee attack for embedded heroes. So, if we get um, Nurgle I heroes, the doubt. Mark of Nurgle gives them reduced melee attack. Right. So, we reduce the melee attack with that, increase the melee defense, and then increase the melee attack through Azazel. So, they actually fight pretty well. We could do it with corn as well, but if we have a look, our corn influence is pretty bad. Although, they would thereby increase it. I mean, we, we need 2,000 for each one that we, um, that we mark, so we don't want to do it too often. Yeah, I need you to get more souls. Actually, we might need... Hang on, let me do this. No, the replenish rate's fine. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. Blessed by the dark breed. Okay, now I want to hand over the aspiring champion to this dude who is going to recruit aspiring champions. But since you're not going to, I never put a foot wrong. And you can take. Don't take anything because otherwise you lose. Oh, no, that's fine. lose movement. Yeah, switch a poison and this one for this one. Yeah, yeah, because they, they need that siege attacker still. It was all to my divine plan. Alright. Any of these can be upgraded? Nope, change. not yet. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So with this dude. Uh yeah, I mean that's good. And what else should we get for him? Actually, what about what about heading towards reducing upkeep cost? I mean it's all no, oh, that's not the reduce upkeep cost. Oh, they don't have anything that reduces upkeep cost. 
Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, Warbrained upgrade cost redu reductions, but that's not really that big of a deal. You just pay them off once. Uh, increase experience when getting for units against the forces of order, which we're not fighting at the moment, but this guy will eventually, provided he survives. I don't know what else to do. I, I guess I can go down the magic line. Yeah. A gift of Zenith. This guy here should also maybe devote to Zinch at some point, but you know, souls just. I'm spending them as fast as I'm getting them. The gods. What do you think about the current state of IM? Uh, it's all right. It's acceptable, but uh, it definitely could be better. You know, it's it's uh, anybody who says it's perfect is uh, being blind to all of its problems. But you know, that's okay. Good. Now we see. Okay, now these guys over here, they can just whatever. Yeah, that is clearly better. Yeah. My prayers are answered. The increased experience gained when fighting order also gives extra souls per battle. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't I? I did click that one. Yeah. That is correct. Alright, Albion, let's have a look here. Is this area safe? Yeah, we're pretty safe, we don't need walls here. So, if we build this, it does give us extra income from more buildings in the local region, which isn't that big of a deal. Also, you can eventually make manticores really powerful. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, somebody sent in a very interesting army today of uh, Chaos Giants, and it's that's tomorrow's video. Let me just tell you, it's an interesting one. Okay, keep a look out for tomorrow's giant doom stack. Very interesting. They did a very good job. Uh, this one here, income from all buildings from the Jason or allied vassal regions. Yeah, I just don't know if that's actually going to give us any money. I got heaps of cash though. I don't really think we need loads of growth. We'll be able to get rid of that soon. And upgrading this provides bloody no benefit whatsoever. So, just, just go with that, whatever. Hang on. This one over here, I guess we can do this. It only provides an extra 10%, but... Yeah, over time it'll provide money. Is that their last settlement? No, so Yeah. I better hurry over to them and subjugate them before anyone else gets a chance. To oh, tusks. Tusks. Do they have any other settlements? Yeah, they got three. Does anyone remember if tusks are good? I can't remember. What do tusks give the Warriors of Chaos? Because on one hand, I kind of want to vassalize them, but on the other hand, it's a tradable resource. Manticore still got Rampage, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Alright, so over here, let's go this, this, and... Actually, you know what? Don't worry about the growth. I think we may need defenses here, as we... Yeah, well, maybe. And... Yeah, to run back growth. We, we get heaps now that we fight loads of battles. Chariot weapon strength? Ooh, okay. I don't really recruit chariots, do I?
Yeah, I don't know. Alright. We've still got another slot here for Slanesh, but none of this is really particularly good. Some people have said that uh, getting constant revolts is fine, the garrisons can actually handle it. Uh, which is interesting. Interesting. Infernal March is not terrible either, apart from the... It comes with a drawback. Is there anything in here that's, like, pretty good? Not really. Sonic Boom for all Slanesh characters, that's pretty good. Yeah, some of the gifts of Slanesh are a bit shit, I think. A little bit on the shit side. Things may get Alright, I think we're done with the turn here. Let's have a look in diplomacy and move on. Master Lord of Hellpit! No. No, I wanna smash them. Hunger for souls. I am throt. Eternal taste of. If I get an aggression pact with him, I'll be able to trade. Let me see, do I have any resources not being sold off? Nope. 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 I'd say just leave him. He's not going to do anything to us. Alright, and then we've got... We could do a Dark Prince's Secret. Uh, I suppose that'll be useful for doing damage to any uh, um, invading army that we just see along the way. So, I'll just leave that be for now. That's interesting. This. Getting Hellebron's trait will be good for Bellicor. Extra melee attack is not a bad thing. Nurgle has the best gift, replenishment in enemy territory. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but I'd say that the growth one is actually a bit better, especially right now. The one that provides growth per region after winning a battle. That's really bloody good. Gets our provinces developed very quickly. Alright, put down a commandment over here. And let's move on. Yep. 35% movement is so good and you have plenty of income. Yep, but I also can't dedicate to that one right now because I haven't unlocked enough um, souls to Slanesh. Any plans for confederating Festus? Yes, definitely. Um just not right now like he's he's doing fine I don't feel like it's an emergency I kind of want to get rid of the Dark Elves get Valkyr before she gets leveled up badly get Archeon before he gets leveled up badly I have to try to revive Kolik which is I actually don't know if I can revive Kolik I really don't know I don't think I can What are the best resources for Warriors of Chaos? Well, it depends on what you want to focus on, but really just all of them. Uh, marble is very good because it provides global construction cost reduction. Really, really good. I've got one at the moment. So if you get 20 marble resources, construction costs are completely free. You can get salt for the same bonus as a Nurgle one. Okay, that's cool. When we've got enough salt, then I'll get rid of the Nurgle one. I don't think I've got any salt at the moment. But yeah, that is really good. Planning to get Archon? Yes. But you know, he's he's a bit over here, and I've just got to work my way over. Kolik is dead? Yeah, Kolik is dead is because of the Ultimate Crisis. Grimgore. Grimgore took him out straight away because he became Ultimate Crisis. The Slash ability is OP, damage to the army by like 50%. Nice. Clay is faction-wide income bonus. That is nice. That is really good. Yeah, I want that. Ultimate crisis on the highest level difficulty. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If only ports could be re replaced with resource building. Yeah. Yep, I agree. I agree. Tier 5 of the horse building gives Lord and Hero recruit rank. Could be good to know for building. Yep. Did the crisis start? Yeah, yeah, it started, like, beginning of yesterday. Look. 
Even Cracker Drack is gone. Cracker Smack. Uh, does Confederating the Legendary Lord work the same with Norska? Uh, no, no. With the with Norska, you you have to fight their Lord in battle and defeat them. With the Warriors of Chaos, you have to capture their last settlement. So you don't actually have to fight their Lord, which is what we did with Azazel. I didn't fight him at all. I just took his settlement while he went away. I snuck in while he went to go and fight Kislev. It was really, really, like, kind of a cheap confederation, actually. But with Sigvold, I wanted to fight him because we want that delicious um, defeat trait, which we got for Bellicor and Azazel, which is really good. Physical resistance is great, especially if you're going to go find mortals. Out of all the in-game crisis, which one is Warriors of Chaos least equipped to deal with? I, th I think they can handle all of them. Probably, um, yeah, they should be able to handle all of them. I don't see any problems. Do you find the game to be more challenging with the Ultimate Crisis or just the same AI smashing as usual? Uh, it's more challenging, I guess, depending on which faction you play. Like, if you're really far away from the Crisis, which we're like a medium distance away from it, but if you're far away from the Crisis, then you don't really... Yeah, I get that. It doesn't really affect you very much. Okay, so that's a crisis faction that just got wiped out. No. You dare. You respond. I am chosen. I forbid you. Okay, so why don't Agent of Change? Why don't you swing around this way to the Blighted Cove? Pursuing the path of change, forging into the unknown. Though he's still getting some replenishment. Is this of the okay? Yep. And Azazel will swing around to the Cliff of Beasts. He should be able to handle this, no problem. Off to damnation. Yeah. Don't up. anticipate any problems by standing right there. Find me, pray. He's only got 19 units. Belakor. See, I was thinking about um. Income from vassals, it might be good to give all the port settlements over to Norska since they make so much money from ports. Maraud is all. Um, in that case, I have already done that, it, with the exception of Trollfjord, which I might be able to give to them. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? Can. The longships are ready. Yeah. Because if we give them that. Okay, so the scalings only have... Let me have a look here. They've only got one settlement. We can kind of gather how much money we actually get from them. So from 520 gold, we get how much? 173. So if I give them another settlement, I would assume I would get another 173. Which is definitely more than I'm getting off them. Plus they haven't built it up to tier... 3 yet, so there's more money that they can possibly make. They didn't build all the money buildings, though. How dare they? Um, and this region here is almost at tier 5 without requiring this one. So yeah, let's let's sell Troll Fjord over to them. I can always just get it back later if I want it. Which I don't. Yeah, since port settlements have no value to us whatsoever, just hand it over to... Hang on, hang on. Let me just confirm. Port settlements... Yeah, there's no value in that whatsoever. It's just a defensive area. That's it. My fellow warlords. Right, give it over to him. Do the Kurgan and Tong come south? Fine. Hey, I've changed my mind. Give it back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so how much money did that change? Are you after a drink? Yeah, I got a, a bit of increase, about fifty, just from tier one settlements. So that's pretty good. 
It's good that Norskins... I think the Norskins make so much money from ports in order to make Chaos Warriors so much money. So if, um... If Creative Assembly ever nerfs port income for Norska, they'll nerf it for the Warriors of Chaos. Ah, oh, you don't make it over here, damn it. You know about the Vassal cap on Vassal income? Yes, but it's per Vassal. So, as long as no one of our Vassal makes 25,000, then it's fine. And that's... We are so far away from having a Vassal that's able to make that much money for us. There's no cap on total Vassal income, only per Vassal. Oh no, 25,000 per vassal. I've only got a hundred vassals. Spread the darkness. So we'll keep that. I'll give... Um, yeah, yeah, give that over to the ag hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Um, Bellacor, is there any... Alright, I'm gonna finally get rid of the spawn of Zinch. There is no escape from and the grab another master. Marauder. The Gotta start training them up if we want any chance of getting them to become aspiring champions. Then we just need to replace these blood letters and then we're... I don't know. Something. Still figuring out Bellicor. Just not Darkling entirely sure. Prince. So these guys here have two settlements. Despoil and yeah, I can't get at the... Um, the medicinal plants there. The fetid catacombs are of no value to us because there's no tradable resource there. Um, Blood Mountain it does have value to us. Palace of Princes has value even if it's not much. How are we going over here? My eldritch eyes see. So, it seems like there's still a lot of Slanesh corruption that's going away. Uh, let's have a look here. Cool, if they capture that, I can just take it off them, I think. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like this faction here is about to go up in smoke. So, I think I might just recruit whatever's available here, to some degree. And we'll go and take Joyshank. Yeah, he considers me his main threat, so that's interesting. If you take Erengrad, you don't get pottery, you get a port. Oh, yeah, because it's not a dark fortress. Right. Oh, pottery's good though. Oh, <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I guess they can keep it then. I can borrow this army. I can borrow both armies. Well, I can borrow one of them. Then what would I do with it? Karak Hiran's made it all the way over here. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Guess what I could do is just move it down to here. Just so that it's there. Cause they're just not gonna move otherwise. Ah, just leave it. Cause it increases my supply line. Uh Would it increase our supply lines as well as the chaos? It might. Okay. No. Your blood will drip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, that seems to be all of our movements on for the turn. Is Bellicor's strongest Warriors of the Chaos faction now? Then, also, what would you like to see taken from Warriors of added to Daniel? 
Uh, look, I don't know, and I wouldn't really want anything added to the Demon Prince's faction. He should just get his own unique stuff. I think what the Demon Prince really needs is better equipment uh, from the, the Gifts of Chaos. Take Marienburg. Well, this area here is a friggin' shitstorm of, um, endgame crisis factions. We should probably... Any, any attempts to capture the stuff here needs to be brought with absolute true force or else we're just going to get kicked out straight away. Otherwise, I think just let them stay. Let, let, let the, uh, uh, let Marienburg keep that for now because otherwise, uh, we're not going to hold it. So just let them have it. Feel my power. Okay. Hmm. Lord of right. It might be best actually if we um, hit Nagra first, then Dargoth, and then go that way rather than go the other direction. Good. March. Uh, trespassing on their territory shouldn't have any ramifications, right? Yeah, no one can attack us anyway. But yeah, in terms of the strongest Warriors of Chaos faction, I kind of feel like Archaeon might actually still be the strongest. Although, these portals and unholy manifestations are really good. Um, Archaeon benefits a lot more from having lots of vassals than... ...than Bellicor. Bellicor doesn't really benefit that much from it. Yeah, I just get it anyway. Apart from just making money, whereas... ...Archaeon gets a lot of souls. Which is definitely good. To get that passively. Okay, Monolith of Burkill, Bloody Hand. Right, Hero and Lord Recruit rank plus one, but that's not faction wide. 25%, 50%. 25%. So if you get all three of those, you get 100%. Eventually, these buildings are will be free of upkeep. Uh, free of upkeep. Free to uh, build. Just, just hold that off for now. I don't have a ton of money left over. Um, you never know. Sometimes you just need to get emergency money. Alright, just leave that. There just isn't that much to do this turn. Let's just keep going. But we should have, should have a couple of battles to do next turn. Vassals are good because they defend your territory, so you don't have to. Yeah, but I'm good at defending my territory. Ooh, the Ice Court saves... them. Is it possible to get negative magic resistance like fire weakness? No. No. Uh, I think um, I think you can, but you have to have like an active ability to do it. Did they already nerf Norska's port income? N they didn't nerf the port income. They nerfed the multipliers on the income. So I guess yes, they did. Also, we can see Cracker Drack starting to make movements down over here. New vamp economy is very good. The gathers give 500g. Most building upgrades are cheap as well. Uh, yeah, their early game uh, income is better, for sure. Uh, but their late game income got nerfed, for sure. I think overall their settlements make less money uh, than they did in Warhammer 2. Like a tier 5 settlement in Warhammer 2 makes more money than a tier 5 settlement in, tier, uh, in Warhammer 3. However, their buildings are also significantly cheaper, so I think it all sort of balances out. I have a trinket that reduces magic resistance by 20% to all enemies. Yeah, that mostly strips away their existing magic resistance. Doesn't necessarily put them into the negative. So that's useful for dwarfs, you just strip away their, their spell resistance from it. Yeah, look at the doing.
Will the ultimate Torx, sorry, ultimate crisis make Torx campaign easier? I don't think it'd make it easier, but you'd get more movement with Torox as long as you kept his army alive. Don't forget they significantly nerfed the champion's essence. You can't just get like unlimited healing. And since the uh, since the beastmen don't have a spellcaster that can heal, getting a regen item can be a bit tricky. Unless you're using nothing but um, Jabba Slice spam, which is time-consuming to get to. Do the endgame crisis factions fight each other? Yes, they do. Yeah. Lies Sedeg did a... Five pounds of budget. Hey, Legend, did you know that if you reinforce Legendary Lord, you get their defeat trait? I I'm aware of something like that. Don't, don't you also have to be in it? It has to be in an ambush or something. But I'm aware of something like that, yeah. Uh, Winter Rage did a five euros of budget. Hey, Legend, I feel like I should wait for the DLC to play Chaos, since, in my opinion, they have so few units it might hurt to play through. Thoughts? Up to you, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um... If you don't get the DLC, you will be missing out on um, pretty important mechanics. So, Lord you know, Kanta. you gotta make this decision for yourself, but yeah. The Exalted Betrayer. So, what was that again? Oh, bonus, like charge bonus or something for chariots. Or do I want vassal income? Hmm. Not sure what to go about this. Of Just not sure. Come back to that in a moment. Whereas I'm pretty sure about this. The so we're going to give Nagrar monster. over to Aghol. I'm going to take Dargoth for myself. I don't think I'll be able to get both this turn, but we'll see. Hang on, let me join war. Still your tongue, so I may rip it from your mouth. These terms are So that's not gonna bring in my allies, which is fine, I don't need them to come in. The first Time to die. If you attack while in ambush dance, you cancel enemy reinforcements while being able to have yours. Ah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, we'll give this over to the vassal. Don't worry about sacking it. Suck it. I said, don't suck it. Lord of Tort. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to make it. Follow Ogu's winds. Cool. Get the settlements. It's just pretty funny watching the AI just run away from you, pretty much. No then I'm trying to decide what to do here. Do we go for the global bonus? How much would five tusks make us? Probably not tons of money. Five tusks would give us 50 gold. Hmm. I'm leaning towards occupying it. Who knows, maybe I'll make a chariot army. Probably won't, but you never know. Oh hell no! I'll feast on them all. Have you combined items in this campaign? Yeah, but I don't have many. They will be mine. I, I've made a few, few things. Oh what? Pyrrhic victory. I guess I do have a bunch of trash in this army. Don't want to fight it manually. I have to.
Hey Legend, did you know that the Lizardman Commandment reduces build time on all buildings faction-wide? Paired with Tehenuin's Follower, you can build tier 5 buildings in one turn and for free. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's really good. Upgrade your trolls. No. No, I actually don't like armored trolls. I prefer regular trolls. Alright, shouldn't be too difficult, but we just gotta get in there. Alright, we got a lot of fast units. Uh, put them around this way, these guys around that way. Brute force through the front, capturing shit around the side. Right, the Nurgle hero doesn't yet have the heal ability. Are you using Sigvald yet? No, not yet. I don't really have an army for him just yet. Uh, what are you doing? Go this way. What's wrong with armored trolls? They're just not that good. They're just not that good. Just because something is technically an upgrade doesn't actually make it an upgrade. You gotta get out of this fucking Attila mindset. Bit, it persists like bloody cancer amongst the Total War community. As soon as they see something with, oh look, I can upgrade something, they just do it without even checking to see if a unit is actually made better. Sometimes upgrades are actually downgrades. Or even worse, side grades. No, it's not worse. You don't like any monstrous units? No, it's not true. I don't okay, so here's the thing with uh, upgrading the trolls, right? It costs three experience. So you lose three experience, and you gain a bit of extra armor. Now, we're going up against Slanesh, which has majority armor piercing. You know, they don't gain better combat stats, they just gain more armor, which, again, is almost useless here. So, that's not an upgrade. Time to die. I won't fail. The damned prince. So, are Marauder Horse Masters not worth time in space of army? No, no, Marauder Horse Masters are good, it just it depends on what you're going up against. It's up to you. Like, I like Mortal Horse Masters. I'd probably get some if they were available. A gift for you. Masters, witness me. Now. It is mine. I think it's a no-brainer upgrade. Well, with the... It's just, it's not worth bothering about, honestly. It's not going to make any difference. Especially considering that I don't even intend to keep the Chaos Trolls in the army long term. Why, why waste any money on them at all? 
Armored Chaos Trolls are really not much better than regular trolls. It's just not even worth bothering about. I tell you what, if we ever lose a battle uh, with Azazel because of like the trolls just not having, what, 30 extra armor, then by all feel, feel free to criticize me then. But until then, did we really need them in this battle? We absolutely did not need them. Now, I'm all for upgrading units if they're a significant upgrade, but, you know, making next to pointless upgrades is a great way to just waste your resources. This is something that's uh, persisted ever since Attila, right? Um, Attila would have these upgrades that would provide, like, oh no, one melee attack for the unit or some rubbish amount of stats, but then would increase their upkeep cost. That's another thing as well. The trolls increase an in upkeep cost when you when you upgrade them with extra armor. Hundred ten armor versus forty armor. Yeah, that's great, but armor is actually not really that important. <laughs> it's it's really not. But I'll have a look. I'll have a little, little look and assess it. Alright, so we could subjugate them or we could occupy it. What's going to be? Subjugate would also give us... Um... Yeah, no, I'm just going to occupy it. Do not close the pleasure hives. Okay. So, if we were to have a look at this... Okay. So, yes, they have 70 extra armor. You're right, they have 70 extra armor, but they also have 38 extra upkeep cost, right? They'll lose three tiers of experience. Look. That's fine. That's fine, but that is, like, the mother of insignificant. That it really is not going to make any fucking difference to this army at all. And, you know, it's going to cost money to do it. And I know I've got a lot. But you know how you get a lot of money? By not wasting it on shit like that. The Ravens. So I'd much rather keep their uh, their stats, uh, their experience, than upgrade them with armor. It's just not important. Now, if you want to do that in your campaigns, by all means, go and do that. But it's, it's a fucking waste of money. Do it for the cool factor? Mm, well, what if I don't think it's cool? It doesn't lower the stats, it just lowers the rank. Which lowers the stats? <laughs> it's... God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Ananda Deb did a $5 super chat at Legend Total War. What's your opinion about Emmerich Total War Warhammer 3? I really enjoyed Emmerich M2. Uh, I don't really like High Elves in Warhammer 3, so I'm probably not going to play Imric, but uh, I think his campaign seems fine in Warhammer 3. Thanks for the chat. Oh, this also gives him the ability to heal while casting. Oh, that's pretty good. How delicious. Man, I tell you what. Okay, Look, sometimes you guys grill me on the most trivial shit. Legend upgrade the trolls to armored. You know? Oh my god. I can't think of a less important upgrade to make. Oh, those are particularly good. Zinch bestows the glorious. Alright, um. I think what we'll do here is. Fight this. Give it. Oh, uh, looks like they lost. <laughs> Typical. Because this is not a great army. I could give it to Sigvold, because this guy is not important. And there's some Slanesh units in here as well. Alright, let's have a look at Sl uh, Sigvold's skill line. 
So we got Favoured Son for Aspiring Champions and Chosen of Slanesh. Let's have a look at what he gets. Tribute from Vassals 50%. Is that global bonus? Ooh. Look at that. He can get gold shield. Look at that. That is very rare to see. Physical resistance for the Lord's army. Melee. Hmm. Hmm. What if we give him, like, a Slanesh, um, themed chosen army? Or, what about the cavalry of Slanesh? Because the mark of Slanesh gives speed, which is and physical resistance, and stroke. Mm, that's pretty good for cavalry. What they lack, though, is anti-large. They really like anti-large. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright. He's got Siege Attacker, right? Yeah, he does. Alright, so we're going to give this over to them. Never stop. Let us go! Try to make my way over to Erengrad. And hand it over to them. It's no, no use to me. What else is in here? Unto slaughter. Right, I haven't researched that yet. Avert your eyes. Despoil! I think I could have done better than that. Fool. Mm. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty big bonus to income. That's that's not bad at all. Extra seven hundred is not bad. Uh, physical resistance and melee defense for the Lord's army. It's good. And they got rid of that um, that penalty, the reduced um, cons uh, upkeep cost. Sorry, increased upkeep cost for all. Um, Hang on, we should probably... Uh, route march is not that important. Let's get the physical resistance. Witness my beauty. There's 12 units in there. I think we can manage with what we've got. I think we can manage. Excellent. I am Slanesh's scion. So there we go. Let's go to scout ahead for us. That's all my movements. So next turn we're declaring war on them.
Good. Every time we've fought these guys here, we've gotten an extra one of these uh, Dark Prince's secrets. So that'll be useful if we ever come under siege to just like smash an enemy army just straight away. Of course. Bellacor. Hmm. Metal better than fire magic? Mm, depends on the situation. I'm using this guy as a scout though. Alright, let's have a look what we can build. Never get health scourge because they have zero AP. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah. Oh, hang on. What's the gems do? When, uh, winds of magic power reserve change 10% when increasing. Whatever. <laughs> oh god, that's such trash. There's, I don't know. I, I don't need the growth. We, do, we just get so much from Nurgle. Um... Alright, that seems to be me done for the turn. What does that change when increasing stat even mean? So when you're standing in a region that increases winds of magic, like strong or tempestuous, or you're in channeling stance, instead of getting 5 or 10 winds of magic, you'll get 6 or 11 or 12 winds of magic. No, 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 hang on. If it's 10%, if it's 10%, it won't affect strong. It'll only affect tempestuous. But it stacks, so... You know, if you get enough of those gems, instead of getting, you know, five wins of magic, you can get ten, sort of thing. So, it's not completely useless. It's just, compared to... Oh, God. Yeah, we're not going to be able to launch that attack now. Compared to what it used to be, it's not very good. Oh, maybe... Maybe, um... Azaz will be able to force march there. Do you know how Bellicor's converting human lords and demons works? I haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done it yet. It's not something that I'm really focusing on. Welcome. Let me keep you in the shadows. Yeah, Festus is doing alright. Um... No, no point in getting any agreements with him since we want to confederate him. You expect Chaos Dwarfs this year in Christmas? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. Thanks again for the raid yesterday. I appreciate the support. The road to 1k subs continue. Thank you. Missed it earlier. Just want to say thanks. Oh, I did miss it, but thanks, dude. Um, glad it helped you. Cool. It'd be good if the order resolve here doesn't wipe them out. That way we can get another victory over them. Good. Drawn, it must taste blood. I hope that does, um, cinch faction is still out there. So you can use an agent action against them and they'll turn into a demon prince as well. Alright. 
Um, I don't know, it's just, just not something that I'm focusing on. I'm aware that the Demon Princes provide a global bonus to experience gain rate, and that is good, but, you know, if you're limited sort of in the, the amount of stuff you can do in, in a campaign at any given time, and sometimes there are some, some things that just aren't that interesting, and that's kind of one of them. I just don't think that's that particularly interesting. Especially since we're, we're focusing heavily on other things. Definitely not ready to do that. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, we just got Infernal March. Cool. My adoring hordes agree. Oh, shit. Uh, well, it would be good to get Erengrad. I don't want to lose the Tower of Crack. Hmm. God damn, Grimgore's already that. here. Shit, is he the one that took out... That was quick. Can you revive the Norskin faction in Lustria? I don't know. So many snowflakes. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, then we can sack him if you dare. Lord of Torment, take it for me. Obviously. Lord of Shadows. Skill acquired. I serve the wind lord. Great. Yeah, there's no way this guy here is gonna be able to beat that on his own. Going to encamp stance there. Tyrant of I will murder. Destiny holds dominion over all. Can you confederate Daniel and Bellacor as Archeon? Not Daniel, but Bellacor, yes. My ecstatic legion is ready. Why not Chaos Giants? Uh, I don't think I've even had the opportunity to recruit any, ever, in this campaign. This has been none available. Not that I would necessarily do that. But yeah, there haven't been any. Uh, Xia Xia became a member for two months. What are, What's about to happen when the ultimate crisis occur? It, it just triggers all crisis events. Oh, hang on, I think we might actually be able to make it here. Yeah, it triggers all crisis events. Keep up. Ooh, I'm fairly sure he'll reinforce from there. Of course, if he doesn't, we're in big fucking trouble. We move as one. Cain's gripping hafts. Damnation. Oh fuck! If he doesn't reinforce from there, I'm in Dark so much fucking trouble. Friends. Weaving threads of destiny. Oh god. I just don't know. I guess what I could do then is... 
shit. Uh, yeah, I could. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna need some more troops if we're gonna do this. I know your demonic ways better than. Drukis, do not waste your last breath begging for mercy. I will. Well, we'll see what happens. We will see. No, he didn't make it. Oh, uh, no, I think he did. I think he did. Chaos awaits. He did. Alright, order resolve yields us a victory with no units wiped out. But that wouldn't be fair to Malice. How should we do this? They've got three pi Okay, what's the map look like? Ah, oh, this this map can be a bit of a pain to attack if they got a lot of territory, uh, lot of stuff. Mm, should be okay. Should be okay. Um, all right, let's do it. If only these trolls had armor. Oh yeah, that's so useful against armor-piercing missiles. <laughs> Malice gonna solo that army? Ah, I don't think so, because in a minor city siege, the AI is programmed to protect their lord, and they don't use them until the very end. Oh my god. Trolls with armor is gonna be like a new meme for the channel, isn't it? It's gonna be like, an agent upgrade for armor! Get that armor! It's so important! Uh, Legend doesn't get the armor upgrades. What a noob. <laughs> Alright, we're going through this way, which is fairly close to our reinforcements coming in there. 46 seconds, that's not bad. Um... Instead, came through here. That way, when they show up, they'll be around the other side, and we can sort of pincer them. Many it is destined. Come, warriors of Zench, destroy these weaklings and deliver them to their fate. So there's Malice. Someone is going to send you an armor troll doomstack? Oh, I'm sure you could make a doomstack out of them. I'm just saying it's uh, at this stage right now, when I'm not focusing on building troll armies. They're just placeholders for things that will come later. Uh, I'm not going to waste resources on it. It's just kind of ridiculous how much people push for something that I clearly don't want, that clearly, pretty obviously, does not make that big of a difference. Fast units are in Azazel's army. Let's come in here and start cap. Oh, nice. Look at all that artillery over there. Good thing they don't have Dark Conduit. Probably end up getting it next turn. My God's call. Moving. As 
Cinch wills. Thorn's bloody glory. Slay every mortal. Good for magic. That looks like a interesting blob. They're gonna take too long to move out of the way. Sweet butchery. Invite their souls for the chaos gods. Good shoot at this kind of small target. Oops, no, I didn't want to it. Changing position. Chaos is magic. I am a Caesar. Slice! The Caesar should be able to beat that Blood Rack Medusa easily. At once. Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, there's Malice, so we should probably try to avoid him. Yes, Lord! Lord. So be it! Mortal fool! Lord Conjurer of Char. Take a bit of damage, just move it up. Horns bloody glory. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's fine. The dark god command me! A Caesar, Prince of Damnation. Marauder Horseman! Uh, call on Red Knights. That's, uh, that's so correct. Just called one knight. Yes! They will suffer! Okay, I'm kind of stuck here. Recon it! Morbid energies. So be it! Destiny awaits. Now is our time! No, they got armor, that's not really. Unbridled chaos. Vengeous Medigro. Exalted hero. I don't fail. Yeah, try to keep yeah, keep Malice busy, that's good. Time to die. Always changing. Blood! Keep them back. Let them regenerate a little bit before we send them back in. This guy's taking a bit of damage. Let's get him out. Yeah, watch out for those cold one nights there. 
Alright, this guy is, yeah, he's taking too much damage. He's done a good job so far, but he's taking a bit too much damage. Okay, this one here is taking too much damage. Just pull it back. Remember this one. Too much damage. Pull it back. Okay, Azazel. Keep fighting this one over here. You should be fine, even if the dread things attack. Break through that. Oh, look at that. It's like a Nurgle corruption thing. Good. Malice is busy. Alright, come around this way. We'll go around the long way there. Yes, Lord! Lord Conjurer of Char. Vince's many glories. I serve the beast. Unbridled arcane power. Where are you going? Go that way. Exalted hero of Arcane Might. Okay, this one here. No, it's safe there. Alright. Let's... Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe Azazel, that's not the best of ideas. Oh god, they're taking a sweet time getting through that. Gonna get the fast units in here to attack all of the artillery. That's gonna be worth a ton of bounce of power loss for them. Alright, this one here is regenerated a fair bit. Let's bring it back in. Get these out of here. They've taken too much damage. Don't want them getting wiped out. Go that way. Attack the martyrs! Uh, shit. Chaos sorcerer, go it. Moving, go it. Surely Moving. they can outrun Malice on go Spite. It. Spite's slow. Moving. Especially if we do this. No, we can outrun him. I okay, how fast is he? 68 speed. Yeah, we can outrun him. Just send him on a different, different way. Slaughter. Following fate. We want their eyes. All will be hell. All will be despoiled. Didn't Azazel have the heal passive on cast now? Is that map wide or not? No, no, it's just heal on him. Yeah, so if we have a look at that, it just says heal. Yeah, heal him. Which he doesn't really need any health. He's he's good. Okay, swing around the back there. Fight! Oh, uh, stay away from Alice. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. He'll kick your ass. Get out of there. Oh, only you're armored. He's so useful against all that armor piercing. Best thing we can do is just try to avoid Malice as much as possible, just avoid him. I'm 
Sometimes I gotta tell you to really cool that. Running. Shit. Just keep him away. He'll eventually just give up chasing us. Especially when uh, we've captured all the points. Which we just about have. Just keep him busy a little bit longer. I'll try to send these guys over here just to get his attention. Can't get out of there. It's too scary. So be it. Tremble, mortals. For chaos. What? Come on, we just have one more point to cap. Charge them. Very good. Just to slow him down a little bit. Fireball isn't going to do anything to him. That's it. Get his attention and draw him away from them because they're damaged. That's it. Just lure him on a wild goose chase. Best way to beat Malice is to not fight Malice. Is that the army? Yeah, there's the army losses. Cool. And that's how you beat Malice. By not fighting Malice. A good rule of thumb is that if there's a Lord or a particular unit that is going to be like insanely dangerous in melee... Uh, and really difficult to take out, no matter what you've got, then the best thing you can do is lure it away. <sighs> finally, finally, I hired um, armored trolls there. That would have made such a big difference. I just, I just thought of a compromise. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's wood here. I just thought of a compromise to make everyone happy. Chaos awaits. Do they use the American spelling? Yeah, they, no, no, they use the English spelling. Cool. There we go. Azazel, Prince of Damnation. Oh, damn. Gotta do this. Azazel. Huh? Lord I wanna let me copy paste. There we go. Now everybody happy. <laughs> there we go. Done. I upgraded them all to Chaos Trolls Armored. Oh, we got a student there, nice. Change in card. Oh, it was already equipped. Do we not have... Okay, that's fine. Uh, Waki Chavez did a... Come in for two months. Love to see Legend trolling. Alright, no worries, dude. Thank you for the chat. Appreciate you. My whims I spelled it wrong? Their every move. Uh, no. I spelled it correctly. Unless you're an American, and you don't know how to speak English. I 
See, that is the English spelling of armored. I understand. I get it. There is a different spelling if you're American. But I'm not American, so I don't have to bloody uh, use your spelling. Alright, past the glory souls to upgrade characters to Demon Prince of Slanesh all characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really intend to do that, but I'll do that. Casualty replenishment rate is good. That's just a point, that's fine. Uh, I am enlivened. My prayers are answered. Ah, the slaughter begins. Oh, oh, oh. there we go, stench ridden. Yeah, so it looks like we got a fair bit of stuff coming towards the Tower of Crack. Fair bit of stuff. Handsome and lethal. I think we should just um, if we can get back. Things are about to get a bit hot and heavy ruin. out here. Nope, that is not going to work. Dream magic. Witness my beauty. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, Siggy is going to have to deal with a fair few um, greenskin armies now. Yeah, a fair few. So here comes the endgame crisis. My magic is yours. All is well. Belacor. No, I just let that repair on its own. And... Missile strength for Marauder Horsemen and Marauder Horsemaster units. Oh, that's whatever. Some, I sometimes get those units. Oh, I want to have a look at his, his uh, actual trade. Does he still reduce upkeep costs for Marauders? So, Supreme Vanity. No, he doesn't. But he increases the speed of Marauders of Slanesh Chaos Warriors of Slanesh and Tronus of Slanesh by 15% by speed. Alright. Yeah, I think giving him uh, Chaos Chosen of, of uh, Slanesh is probably the way to go, which will take some time. Avert your eyes. Yeah, it'll take some time to do that. Alright, technologies. We just finished Infernal March, which is nice. Uh, if we start working towards Slanesh, I mean, we've got two Slanesh Lords. I haven't finished this stuff over here, which is definitely good, but I think... I think we can wait a little bit. You can get Gore Feast for Feral Manticores. That's pretty good. I think you could make a Feral Manticore Doomstack in this game. I think you can make it actually work. As much as I hate stuff. Will you rename one of the Chaos Lords to Asinine Mortal? No. Hey, look, they have a, um, they have a technology here called Reddit. Interesting. <laughs> uh, the text here just aren't that good, though. Yeah, let's grab that. Uh, no, let's get souls. Extra, I'm, I could always use some more souls. Our thoughts crystallize. Last Nurgle tech gives champions regen. Yeah, I know, it just takes a long time to get to that. We're, we're working towards it. We'll get there. I don't think that's worth beelining to right now. There's there's loads of things we got to get. Alright, Fate Marked will give us... 
Yeah, I gotta get 5,000 souls for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be really good for his, um... Um... Aspiring Champions as well. With this, I will so change. Good. Now we see. Giver of glory. Physical resistance. Yeah, it's alright. As long as we're not getting shot, it's alright to be on the Chaos War Shrine. I know that there's undivided authority and we're not maxed out, but I'm sure we'll get it eventually. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. The gods smile. Are you a god? Hey Legend, can Kerlik become resurrected? I don't know. We can give it a shot, but I don't know. Lord of torment. Keep it on that. Still need to get that um, undivided corruption up, or else the public order is not going to be super good. for now. Mm -hmm. Alright, checking our borders out here, making sure nothing too dangerous is on the way. Yep, it all looks swirl, well, but oh, no, that's not a big... Somebody's gonna have to deal with that. Could you sort that out? Target is not a shared enemy. Oh, why not? Always ready for a headbutting contest. Right, because I joined war against them. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, that could bite me in the ass. I'm not careful. All right, let's put a lord in here. Right, and what we'll do. Uh, this guy's already been recruited. What we'll do, just have him there so they don't consider us a threat. And if they stay somewhere around here, I'll just instantly recruit a whole bunch of units. We want to get rid of that before he recruits a whole new army. Alright, we can put down another, another portal somewhere. Where might we need a portal? At any given time, this area here could turn to absolute shit. So maybe popping it down here so that Bellicor or anyone else can get back here fairly quickly might be a good idea. Yeah, that's a pretty good location. Yeah. So if we get completely overwhelmed, Bellicor can just come straight back. Of course, we've got to wait 10 turns before we can do it again, but there's always a chance that Cinch will be the next one. There's always a chance. Is it just me, or did the cost of this, the number of uses didn't actually go down? Let's pop one of these down on this one. I want to see how much damage it does. I ain't doing that. 
Oh, uh, it was a lot of damage, but they're gonna <laughs> heal it straight away. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of damage, but yeah, they just, uh, they're, they're, oh god, look how much they heal. Fucking hell. Oh god. Piece of shit. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Alright, let's move on. The other lords in Bellicor's faction can use his portals? Yes. Yes. It's not just for Bellicor, it's for his faction. Green skin was a bad target for that Rune Nation. Yeah, probably. But I was going to lose it soon anyway. They went a little bit further than I would have liked, though. O10 Firefighter to the Super Chat. PSA to YouTube Chat. The game. That. Okay, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you... That fucking crap still exists? Oh my god. Jeez. Probably the lamest nerd thing that ever was created. Such trash, me. What would he? Uh, Ostland. They look pretty far away, and they're about to probably die to green skin. So, how about? How about you just give me money for nothing? <laughs> oh, it's that time, is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. They might actually have a lot of money. No, they don't. All right, then just, just give me money for nothing. What crap? Okay, so from my understanding, I never played this trash because I did hear about it because, you know, I, I do have nerd friends. I've had nerd friends. Um, the game is not worth knowing about. It's fucking garbage. But basically, it's this stupid idea that if you play the game, the way to win is to... Sorry, you lose the game when you think about the game. But when you think about the game, you have to say, I lost, right? It's just fucking stupid. It's so dumb. The only difference between playing it and not playing it is that if you play it, everybody looks at you and it's like, what a fuckwit every time that you just say, I lost. Basically it. And I think that's the point of it. I think the point of it is to turn socially awkward people even more socially awkward. On purpose.
You also have to explain the game when you lose in front of someone that doesn't know. Well, I just explain. Yeah, well, I just explained it to you, and it's trash. And if you play the game, fucking rethink your life. Because, all right, look, if you played it back in 2000 and 2008 or whatever it was that it was actually popular, good for you. But if you're doing that now, fucking 14 years later, you gotta rethink your priorities. I feel attacked. <laughs> you should. You should. Because... Honestly, do yourself a favor and stop playing that crap. Do you know how you win with the game? It's by not playing. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's absolute fucking garbage. You don't need to know about it. What if you are thinking about it? Don't think about it. If you think about it, just don't say anything. Yeah, well, let's just move on because talking about it is not worth it. It's just a piece of crap. Oh wow, the broken axe were destroyed. Oh, how am I supposed to get extra relations against high elves now? I can vassalize um, dark elves, can't I? If I was going to do that, we should do that at Kuark. So that they have none of these re- Oh, uh, Harganeth is actually a, um, not a dark fortress. So yeah, I'll leave them with Harganeth. Yeah. Uh, o Town Firefighter did a five dollar super chat. Best two dollars I ever spent to hear the greatest virtual collective groan ever. Yeah, thank you, super chat. I think yeah, fair the enough. Four token. I you know what, when you said that, a part of me was like, Don't tell me it's about that crap. Um and then when people in the chat were like, I lost, I was like, Man, I just lost a lot of respect for everybody that said I lost. <laughs> Because, like, I was at university in, like, I don't know, third or fourth year or whatever, when I first heard about it. And I remember my, my nerdy friends were talking about it, and I was just like, like, I was a nerd. Sorry, I am a nerd. And I was like, dude, I was in the chess club. I, I, I was a freaking chess champion. And this was too nerdy for me. I was like, nah, man, this is way, way beyond. This is way too nerdy, even for me. And I'll, you know... I'm up, I'm into some nerdy shit, you know. <laughs> this is this is way. The first. This wasn't just nerdy. This was dweeby. This was like. Shadows move. Hey, I want to be a virgin forever type thing. <laughs> just just stop, okay? Uh, like coffee so trifecta did ten dollars super chat. A bit random, but did you know they added feral bears to Drykas animal summons? Thanks for the stream, Dungeon. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I did know about that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thanks for the chat. Into darkness. So many snowflakes. Where are all their fucking eyes? I have a mind Pain requires another sacrifice. Tempests and fire. Anyway, let's just move on from it because it's it's just stupid. Just move on from it. Magic of chaos. Alright, so their army ran away there. Despoilers! Come! <laughs> Azazel could make the attack, but I kind of want this guy here to keep any experience. Azazel's fine for experience. Darkling Prince. 
I don't think we can vassalize him, can we? We can do it diplomatically, but I'm not sure if we can force him to be a vassal. Dark sorcerer. I foresee your demise. Best lore of magic and favorite lore of magic? Uh one and the same, probably. Vampires and life. Sorcery consumed. Mm. Are there playthings nearby? They're catching up. Alright, we might be able to just auto to this. Die. Good. Yeah, we can just order it. Decisive victories. Good. I definitely wouldn't have taken that much damage, but it's fine. And yeah, I'm occupied. A change of rule is at hand. Okay, now I think we should stand outside the settlement because what I think is going to happen. Changing location. This one's going to besiege the settlement. And not launch the attack. Even though it's got a siege attacker, I'm fairly sure it won't launch the attack. If it does launch the attack, then we'll be just be able to auto-resolve it. It'll be fine. Captain of the Ecstatic Legion. Yeah, it'll be fine. Harbinger. Satanic Geek did a CHF10 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thanks, for the super chat. Who are these grotesque readers? My adoring horns agree. Why would they bother besieging that settlement there? No fuel that's safe for the world. Jog off! Kinda wish he had lightning strike now. Alright, I think what I need to do here is I'm gonna put Sigvold and Ambush Dance and try to lure them in a little bit. Anything better here? Uh, there's an aspiring champion. I'm gonna get another lord. Because I think we're gonna need some heavy duty force here. Let's get a metal wizard. Hideous Visage, Dark Fury. Okay, their trait doesn't really matter. Cause this fear. Mm, whatever. You dare. See, now I'm not sure which way Never. it's going to go. Well, so we have got another lord at the Fortress of the Damned. And what we're trying to do is just catch them. Because otherwise they're just going to eternally run away. Ridiculous. So we want them to just not think we're that much of a threat. Come over to about here and then I recruit whatever I need to to win the battle. There's plenty of stuff in here unless they recruit a whole bunch of units, which I don't think they will. Um, this one here just in case they go back this way. Because it doesn't increase our supply lines. That's the only thing it does. Do village still steal XP when it has level 50? Probably. I have no idea. Ugh, sorry, excuse me. Um. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is good. It's fine. And yep. I don't think we really need growth. Look, if you combine ammunition with Marauder Horseman with weapon strength from Marauder Horseman, you can end up with 
pretty damaging high ammunition Marauder Horseman. Yeah, we haven't had many eventful turns going on. We need we need something to throw some big threats at us. Because um, I think people are getting bored. But, you know, something's brewing over here. Our Ice Wolf Chariot's good. Yep. Yep. Here's the thing with Warhammer 3. There's actually very few units that actually aren't good at all. Um, with the loss of the melee cheats, you really could make most units work. There are a few units that are trash. There are definitely units that are more cost-effective than others. Um, but you really could make just about anything work. Then use Mortal Horsemen of Cinch to give them barrier, magic, and fire attack and apply weakness to fire. Yeah, that could be work. Maybe not right now, but that could work later down the track, yeah. Why not upgrade the walls at Sigvald Settlement? Pretty sure you only get one additional unit. Can't be bothered. I'll have a look at the uh, cost effectiveness of it. Yeah, um, in Warhammer 3, they really made it so that the tier 1 building provides a huge amount of value, and then upgrading it, you just don't get that much value after that. No unit can beat Grail Release? Yeah, they're the worst unit in the game, period. Yeah, just don't ever recruit them. It's Clan Angrid. Can you also convey Festus, Valkyr, and Village? Yep, I could. Just got to be near them. You know, we're we're pretty close to Valkyr. Oh my god, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> oh shit. All right, we can beat that. Is it worth having more than one cash shrine in an army? That's up to you. Azag makes biggins pretty good. Yep. Worst lore of magic in your opinion? Lore of Eshin, I think, is the Stay worst. In the shadows, and we might become allies. No. Did you know the Tomb King and Vampire Count Endgame Crisis get additional buffs if they own Black Pyramids? Nope, didn't know that. Lore of Eshin, the uh, Eshin Shadow Magic garbage. Terrible Lore of Magic. 
Lenny Biggs did a $50 super chat. Any campaigns you're playing on your own time you're enjoying? Also, don't forget to put the armor on those trolls, damn it. <laughs> okay, thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. Um, I'll be perfectly honest. I am a bit bored of Immortal Empires, so I'm not really playing it in my own time. I do, I do a little bit of testing here and there, but not much. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm not really playing it in my own time at the moment. It's just not doing much for me. Happy to live stream it. Just not really keen on playing it in my own time. Like, here's the thing. I play like eight hours of it a day, live streaming it. I don't really want to play it in my own time after that. What's the average age of your viewers? 69. No, um... It's actually about 30. Not a good sign for IE. No, 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 dude. I play it like eight hours a day, okay? That's plenty, <laughs> okay? Oh my god, Legend of Total War won't play IE for 12 hours a day. He's not playing it in his own time after already clocking a thousand hours. Oh no! <laughs> you know, give me a break, man. Okay, good. Cinch has ascended. That means we can pop down another one of these. And another one of these. Alright. Let's pop down this one. Oh my god, Legend. Why are you so negative? The first. Mm, I mean, I'm not going there at the moment. So where do we want to put the the portal? I just like making portals. Since it doesn't seem to cost us anything. Let's see, three. You are no Morka. Cool. Cool. We'll get another one in ten turns. Not not. You uh, may call me Dark Master. God maker. Alright, we do have a dwarf army coming in, and we all know that dwarfs are like the most difficult enemy in the game to fight. What do you are you fighting them as well? Yeah, you are. about this so I want to occupy these two regions here she's gonna hate me for a long time so the mm. four token I want to give Hargoneth this one and, and maybe that one. That's no, of no value to me. The first. It's obviously not a dark fortress. Big on. God maker. It's basic units. Lord of so yeah, I could hit the black pillar now. Because I don't want to smash the settlement down too much or else it'll take our ages to develop it. So I reckon we take the Black Pillar, blow up Quark, take Spite Reach, and then vassalize them at Hargoneth. Time to break. Assuming she doesn't have any territory elsewhere, which she might. Time to die. Okay, good. We got uh, this one to um, enough experience that take it can it go and me. become a um, aspiring champion. Where did that portal you placed? Is it bugged? Yeah, it got placed over here. Yeah, it doesn't go exactly where you place it. It's just, it goes in the province. And every province has like a set location where it can show up. 
The four token. Harbinger. It's usually near the provincial capital. Usually. Which it was in that case. Alright, so... Maybe it might be a good idea to start going towards Lightning Strike and maybe reducing upkeep costs in our army. Uh, so, what should we get here? Devious Plotting. I do ambush every now and again. Wait. Income from looting settlements. Is it just me? Warriors of Chaos don't loot settlements. So that's useless. <laughs> oh, CA. You. More whatever. power. Quick, Legend, upgrade the units! Okay, here we go. Yeah! Alright, so they didn't besiege the settlement, which I found weird. Alright, and this one here, it went back that way. Okay, that's, that's fine. That way you can be disbanded, thanks for your service. Alright. They'll probably stand and fight. They got three units in there. One of it being the no. Lord. So, I'd. Ooh, um. Three units. I reckon. Just pick whatever's cheap. We need to be able to win. That should be more than enough. Pretty funny if it's like three freaking amazing units. Cool. I guess we got souls from our own troops? Yeah, I guess. Whatever, souls are good. I need souls. I will guard you. Damnation. I open. Oh, they're not finished yet. Right. I will murder anyone to get what huh. I must. Okay. Well, that's fine. That settlement is not a dark fortress. But it's useful because it's got uh, medicinal plants. That port. Do the Tong exist? I'm pretty sure they would. They usually do under Archeon, so. I don't know if I'm going to be able to give it to that at the moment. Chaos awaits. Lover, fighter, wanker. My demon blade thirsts. Why chaos warriors are not chosen? The fuck are you talking about? Is this okay. All right. So, <laughs> oh my god. All right. Hang on. Maybe you don't know. Okay. The first. So yes, I have chaos warriors in the army. I would love to upgrade them to chosen, but they have to be rank seven, which is why I did it as as soon as. This guy hit rank 7, I immediately upgraded him to an aspiring champion. Uh, that one there. But uh, you gotta get that experience first. See, I can't upgrade them yet. We're working on it, we're working on it. Takes time. Tell me what you want. What you really want. I want those guys to get experience, but they'll just, they've gotta catch up first. Can you confederate Scarbrand? No, he is not a Warriors of Chaos Lord. They will see beauty before death. <sighs> Sacrifice. There is no love greater than mine. Yeah, legend, how come you don't have any war members in your army yet? Yeah. A perfect place to burn. We sh should be able to reach there. 
My whims control their every mm, It's hard to say if we will reach it. What? I am chosen. Alright, let's get rid of two Chaos Warhounds Disband for these guys. Fools. Chaos comes for them. For the gods of chaos, there is only war. Darkling Prince. I will subject you to a panoply of torment. Yeah, the tongue exists. You will okay. beg me for death. Alright, fuck it. Lord Kanjura. A change of scenery. Okay, this guy here and this one can be upgraded to Chaos Warrior. Legend, why not chosen? <laughs> Alright, and let's get going. Meet your fate. Oh, I can just order that. Uh, should I order it though? What if, uh, he's probably not coming this way. He's at war with Archeon, so he's probably been pushing east. Sorcery consume you. Oh, well, this should be fine. Just, just order it. You die yeah, again. that'll be fine. Into submission. I like it how the Warriors of Chaos can't actually loot and occupy, but their skills for loot and occupy income. <laughs> that's oh, that's difficult. The Raven cool. We're getting a few Raven items, I just haven't really been needing it. Cool, we'll replenish pretty quick as well. Alright, this guy gained some levels. Good for him. Final transmutation. My power only grows. Maybe the worst thing ever to get more items. And this one here, still working towards Arcane Conduit. Cool. God smile. Cool, cool, cool. I Zazel, what do you need? Your heart. Let's get, uh, let's get acquiescence. As skilled as the day I betrayed Sigma. Oh, get over it, man. Okay. I think that guy can go Prince of Zinch now. No, you gotta be ranked 20. Look. You gotta be ranked 20. And also, I don't have 5,000 souls. Don't have enough to pay the troll toll. Can't get into that boy's hole. Uh, Kuro and Wolf did a fabulous subject. Yesterday you said there'd be armored trolls. Today you said tomorrow. Just do it. Did I say that yesterday? If I said that yesterday, then I lied. So, sue me. Thank you, Super Chat. I'm not doing it. Actually, no. I did do it. Look, I've got Captain armored trolls. See? I've got armored trolls. I did it. Alright. And here we go. So we've damaged them. Did we damage the? Uh, I don't know. Witness my All right, we're gonna need to pick up basically everything that's here. Does encamp stance increase our stats? No. Dark Prince wishes. Ravage them. Okay, so yeah, it didn't wipe them out. Alright, auto resolve yields a good enough victory, I think. Cool.
Actually, we can't see your face is in the way. Well, whose fault is that? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> the exalted betrayer. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. Is that? Are you happy? There we go. Smaller face cam. There is no love greater than mine. Alright, well, uh, that doesn't put us in great shape, but I, uh, yeah, I don't think this guy here is going to be able to catch us because he's in a while, so it's going to be slowed down. Dominance. Bring my mirror shield. We shall weave the fates. Hmm. By the Eldritch I see. I need a few turns to replenish from that. Yeah, my best to put both of these armies in ambush. Because we, we've got a good... Okay, I also said we'd, we'd showcase this. So, at tier th uh, 2 with the building, you get 2 Marauders, 2 Chaos Warriors, 1 Troll. At a reasonable price. Right? So then you upgrade it, and you get 2 more units, basically. So... Instead of 2 Marauders... Okay, you get 1 additional Chaos Troll. And one additional chariot. So you get 19 units. For... And two of the marauders are upgraded to chaos warriors. Uh, I get... I don't know. Is that worth 5,000? Maybe. Yeah, it'll only take two turns. And I guess we, we might end up needing it. So yeah, alright. You look right in the end! Seems unlikely it'll reach us. Let me think about it. No! This guy didn't actually replenish from that because he went straight to attack it. He didn't... So the, the Slaanesh uh, thing that we did on them, it did actually Ooh. stick. The gods. Excellent. That actually might be fairly useful Excellent. for blocking enemy armies. Uh, Get probably not those, though. Gate. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen that right now. Azizel. By the Eldritch I see. The chaos. Just gonna pop down here real quick. And hire whatever I can, because we have a big green skin problem here. Okay, you should be fine to just force march behind here. There's no way they're going to be able to attack you. Just, just move a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess we've still got Regiment of Renown that we can recruit. And we got plenty of money, so I guess... Yeah, it's not an emergency I just yet. Plus, I could always just fight the battle manually. Ah, Who needs to fight battles manually? So, do they like me now? I will snap your bones, shrink their marrow, claim your skull. Hmm, I wonder if it was a good idea to actually, um, vassalize this dude after all. I don't know, maybe, hmm. we'll see. They might bite me in the ass, but we'll see. 
could get demons too. I don't think I've got much in the way of, of that, but let me just have a look. I see your heart. Oh, there, there's, a, there's a few. You're not wrong. Yeah, I could get a few demons as an emergency. True, you're right. The first. Alright, that seems to be all I can do. Uh, militarily, that is. So, let's have a look at some of this other stuff. Good. That's it, tier 5, which means we don't need this anymore. Cool. And we could build... Yeah, just build this stuff here. Income from local region. It helps a little bit. I don't know. I got the money. Leadership for Marauder Horsemen faction wide. Well, wow, there's a lot of um Resources that affect Marauder Horsemen. Hmm. Can I sell the Black Pillars to these guys? Business. Where shall we raid next? Okay, interesting. Ships okay, interesting. I might actually do that. And they'll just take it off them when it's safe in the area. Because, you know, there's wolves here. Let's have a look at strength rankings and see what's going on. So Grimgore is now the number one at 31 settlements. He's, yeah, taking control. Sentinels are number two. Caravan, Blue Roses is number three. Crash of Karak, Ancestral Throng. 28 settlements. Oh, he's completely destroyed Malekith. Ugh. Right. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with that for a while. Good thing I find dwarves pretty easy to deal with. Good. Now no, I don't want tempests. Okay, let's move on. How strong are gifted units, and which are the best? Uh, I'm not sure. I am lost in vassals. How to decide when to vassalize and when conquer non-fortress region? Yeah, oh, that's a bit bigger. Looks too small. Um, Some call me the Dark Master. Just gotta, you just gotta decide that for yourself. I can't answer that for you. Sorry. There's no one thing. You just gotta assess the situation. If the settlement has strategic value for you, then occupy it. If it doesn't. Give it to someone else. I don't know. Oh boy. Water horsemen and siege go wild? Yeah, maybe. Oh wow, they're just straight up blowing up settlements. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Okay, I was worried it was going to besiege us. Which would mean... That... 
we wouldn't get any replenishment in Sig Bolt's army. All these fucking questions are ridiculous. Legend, just how do I play the game? Yeah, well, that's that's the problem though. They're not necessarily bad questions. It's just that there's so many ways I could potentially answer it that I can't answer it. That's that's the problem. That's, you know, people are looking for like game guides on like what do I do in this situation, but every situation is different. There could be so many different factors and if I say something like if it has a resource resource then occupy and but that might not be the correct answer you know and it all just comes from experience so it's just really difficult to answer that kind of stuff sometimes like the the um, the true quality of a decision comes in the fine details and the subtlety of it um, And it all comes down to, what's your plan? You know, you surely are playing your campaign with a plan in mind, right? T to some degree. You can't just be like, Oh, I'ma just play it turn by turn, and just random shit, I'll just play randomly. I don't think anybody does that. Even with people that don't make a plan, have some degree of plan in mind. And so... The, you know, the context is important. Exactly. Exactly. Just gotta get good. No, it's, it's not even about getting good. It's... It depends on what you want to be doing because there's sometimes there's just no right or wrong answer. You know? Where's the order tide? Uh there is no real order tide. We we've got dwarf tide coming in. And green tide. I was kinda of hoping that they would clash against each other, but they're not. <laughs> at the moment. Damn it, Cracker Drack was nearly wiped out at one point. Did you play Karos and IE? You just finished long campaign. It was the most difficult of the campaigns to play so far. I haven't played Karos. Um, I, I haven't touched Kairos since, um, Realm of Chaos back in, like, Feb. Um, I don't know, I think it's because I did a full map completion with Kairos in that campaign that I kind of, kind of got sick of Cinch. Um, like, I enjoy the mechanics, but I kind of feel like Cinch is just a bit... It's, it's missing a lot of stuff. It just doesn't feel like a fully fleshed out faction. Um... Yeah. You know your camera blocks the nameplates, right? Yep. Uh, Vlado Gaysa did a 50 SEK Super Chat. Your beard looks great. How have you been enjoying IE so far? I've been enjoying Boros, even if there's a lot of changing tactics from Warhammer 2. Um, I, I enjoy Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires, but I have yet to fall in love with it, if that makes sense. It's n it's no Warhammer 2 for me just yet. You know, it, it might just take time. You know, it is just a beta, as people will keep pointing out. But I'm just, I'm just not there yet. Blood Reaper Z did a five pound super chat. Do non-player faction start the same tech level, or do they have a boost? Just wondering if crisis armies are easier without their techs. I have no idea, dude. Sorry. Um, they probably don't have their techs. G typically speaking, the techs don't make that big of a difference. Um, for the AI, with a few exceptions. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just don't know. Thanks for the chat. I should make a decent amount of money from that. 800? 900, okay. That's Kalidor gone. Ah, oh, fucking... Oh no, that's probably a good thing. I was at war with Azag as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Do you get question fatigue answer the same question over and over again? Mmm. -hmm. A little bit, a little bit. I tell you what I get. I tell you what I get fatigued with. I get fatigued with questions that I can't answer. 
that's what I get fatigued with. I have no problem answering questions to which I have a very clear answer for, but when somebody asks me something and I just don't have an answer for, that fucking wears me out because it's really difficult to just not give someone an answer. But sometimes I just don't have an answer and um, I can't answer it, you know? And it's difficult because it happens a lot with this game now because there's a lot of stuff I just don't know because, you know, so much stuff has changed and will continue to change and I just, I physically cannot keep on top of it. And so people are asking me things like, what does this faction do? What does this do? What does that do? And I'm just, I'm just like, I just don't know. I haven't looked into it. You know, with Warhammer 2, I, I feel like I knew most things. You know, a few things I didn't know, but most things I understood. And I'm just not there yet with Warhammer 3. Lord of Torment. A misplaced. All right, they're down to two settlements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to occupy Quark so that I can give it back to them later. Yes. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, there's Hellebron. Well, it's not never mind. I just didn't know where she was, and now I do. Uh, and I'm going to sell the Black Pillar because otherwise we'll just lose it anyway. Always ready for a headbutting contest. <laughs> now they can lose it. The first demon prince. Yeah, I don't anticipate there's going to be too much of a problem. You overreach. Harbinger. All right, time to get rid of the blood letters of corn. There is no escape. What? The dark but they're really good. Come and we're going to go marauders. There we go. Lord of Shadows. Now could be a bad time to take massive casualties due to... Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can give him some better items. Time. Uh, due to Attack. that dwarf army being so close. They shall fall. Okay, that's garbage. We confuse that. Rod of Torment. That's okay. That is okay. So instead of a scroll... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Get the Rod of Torment in you. That is an okay one. Alright, Enchanted Item. We've got a Potion of Toughness. That's good. Although he can heal. Throw the way. Blade of Shadow. Yeah, keep that. And then as for Armor... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, nothing nothing particularly fantastic. This guy's not immortal, so don't worry about him. Alright, I'm not anticipating any problems. How do you keep your vassals from being dead factions? I want to avoid that. You gotta, you gotta vassalize them before they get confederated. Which is difficult because confederations will happen pretty much instantly. Few some items. I just did. Bellicor needs Cinch Hero to increase speed of barrier. Oh, sorry, dude. Um, speed of barrier regen. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong about that. That could definitely help. Yeah, so a faction becomes like a dead faction when they... Let's, let's use an example. Let's just say the Scalings got confederated into the World Walkers, and then you bring the Scalings back, dead faction. Alright, so you've got to stop them from getting confederated first. Once that's happened, I don't think there's any way back for them. Alright, I usually like going through the front here. They're just very glorious. 
Not my favourite map, but we can we can make this work. All of the insufferable dark gods spurned me. It is the changer that shall burn the longest. This serves. Get them. Nagal's pestilent glory. Roar! At once. Casted it a little bit earlier. Easier Empire campaign between Greasers and Scrag? I don't know. I haven't played either of them. Probably Greasers. Because you can raid those sweet, sweet caravans for money, whereas uh, uh, Scrag is probably not as easy to do that for him. Oh, that's a miss. No yeah, one. Cool. With a bit of shades, we could thin out their army by an absolute ton before we even launch the attack. We really want to make sure that our forces stay in good shape because. Oh, she's on a manticore. All right, let's see who wins: Hellebron or Bellacore. Probably Bellacore. But let's have a look. Does she have a region? No. Yeah, smack that old lady's ass. He's shooting at me a fair bit. Out of my fucking way. Yep, Bellacor won that fight pretty damn easily, even while under missile fire. Well, it'd be good if you could take her out completely. Melkoth mystifying Miasma just to slow her down just a little bit more. Break them. <sighs> that animation is not good for this. <laughs> come on. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, he gets about that. Try to get in front of her if we can. There we go. There we go. Come on. Off of charge. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. She wings. I don't know if he can get her. Lord of His animation just can't attack her while she's running away. This serves. Come then. Try this. Problem is, she'll probably dodge it, even though she's shattered. Ah, oh, the fuck! <laughs> nah, she's not gonna die. Into shadow. Another Melkor. It's useless against single entities. Absolutely useless. It does like 10 damage. She's gone. This would have been good to inflict a leadership penalty on them, but you just 
Yeah, his animation just couldn't connect. It happens. T takes too long to go off. These things happen. You could have killed with a Miasma? No, dude. Miasma can't do any damage. It doesn't do damage to single entities. I would have needed like 10 Miasmas to get rid of her. Absolutely would not have worked. Like I said, I hit her with a Doom Bolt, right? And it still only did like 100 damage. She reinforced me. She's inside the settlement. I just wanted to kill her to reduce their leadership by a little bit. Which ultimately isn't that important. May as well damage your own army for the blood wrench, right? No, no, that'd be a terrible idea right now. We've got big enemies on the way here, and it takes a fair bit of time to replenish, so we're going to need our army for the upcoming dwarf fight. Which is why I'm trying to keep them in good shape by just using Bellicor. Okay, we're live again, but the connection still isn't very good. We're st okay, it's it's mm, it's still in red. So yeah, I went and rebooted the modem. Yeah, there's no point starting until we get green. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's just let it stabilize. So we're still getting dropped. No, it's it's good. It's good. We're done. All right. Cool. These sometimes these things happen. Let's move on. Just gotta move on. No point whinging about it. Doesn't do anything. All right. That's the end of my magic. Apart from this. Oh yeah, that's right. He regenerates while in combat, doesn't he? Uh, if they're low in leadership. Right. And there's the armor losses. Cool. Bellicor did the whole bloody battle by himself. Feed me souls. Nice. Okay. Australian to snap out again. Look, I don't know. It's um there's a multitude of reasons why this might happen. Um Could be worth to call the ISP and upgrade to duplex connection. I look, I when when we established this connection here, I paid for the highest I could. You know, <laughs> this is this just happens sometimes. And it really doesn't make any sense at all in investing any more into better internet.
Okay, I think we're back on. Oh, okay, well that was irritating. Hopefully things are stable now. It seems to be much better. But that took a lot of rebooting to finally get it back. So yeah, I got cut off mid-sentence. <laughs> and people were memeing about it. So that was fun to read, but not being able to respond. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, no point in getting better internet when I'm not doing this as a career for much longer. Uh, what was I doing here? I was going to occupy it, wasn't I? You know? Basically, I'm just... Look, this happens every now and again. I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, when the internet cuts out. But, you know, it's just... It's just something we're going to do with it. Will Legend still do YouTube content when you stop streaming? Yeah, still do YouTube content. I'm just not going to live stream anymore. It's uh, been a miserable experience. So I want to stop. Yeah. Azazel. Prince of it's just live streaming. That's the problem. Is he gonna stop altogether? No, just live streaming. Just live streaming. Sorcerer Lord of Char. Still be doing disaster battles. Mm. Are there uh, should be able to handle that. Nearby. Perpetual flux is the very heart of Unsubscribed. Whatever. Lover, fighter. That's just how it is, you know, you tell people, <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't make it, you know, any more likely for me to stay when people are going to be that friggin' nasty. That's just the typical nature of it, you know. Why would I stay? So does that mean you would just be doing YouTube as a job or side gig with another job? Just YouTube. Just YouTube would be fine. What's made streaming miserable for you? Uh, oh, really? I don't really want to go into too many details about this. Um, but you know, I gotta put up with a lot of shit, and it's just—it basically just comes down to just not being worth it. You know, I basically said that we're gonna do one more year, so that's this year, and then that's it. So there will be like no live streams in 2023. Could always come back. But I, I need a extended break, you know, I a good couple of years away. Uh, I, I gave it a good hard couple of years, but it's definitely time to, you know, hang up the hat. Uh, not yet, not today, but soon. That's why it's not worth investing in this. I'm like, I'm not going to put money into something I'm not going to use long term. You know, but I get it's frustrating. It, you know, all of these things like the internet connection problems, the fact that you know I'm up at midnight, you know, just the shit that I have to put up with. It's just compounds and it just isn't worth it. You know, I don't really get to live. I just work all the time. And I just don't want to do that anymore. But let's not talk about it because it just brings the mood down loads. Um, it just sucks that, that that internet connection happened. But, you know, we seem to be stable now. Hours are not great. Also, I can't tell when people are joking, just being crazy. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a thing. It's, it is hard to tell when people are joking or, or not about it. Either way, it can be a bit hurtful when people say that they're just going to unsubscribe anyway. You know, you can't do anything about it. Because, like, my mind's made up. I'm 100% not going to be live streaming in 2023. There is nothing that anyone can do to change that. It is going to happen. I think the big thing here is whether or not I even continue in 2022. Because I can stop at any moment if I want to. But I, I'm determined to continue until the end of the year. You know, I've got one really big stream planned for the, for the, like, the finale. But, you know, I don't have to do it. <laughs> no, one's, no one's forcing me to do it. I've got one big thing planned, coming up. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I could, I could just, I could just stop right now if I wanted to. I don't want to. I'm just saying. Uh, if this isn't too personal a question, you've mentioned streaming has impacted your mental health. Do you get through a bit of help? Uh, no, I did for other things, but if I get a therapist, they're just going to tell me to stop streaming. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not good. Like, like I already know what I need to do. Uh, as you as Storms there, 20 dollars chat. Not losing this sub, gonna miss the long vods of campaigns though. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, uh, thanks for super chat, I appreciate that. What's the big thing? I'm not gonna talk about it right now, it's not planned yet, but you know, I got one big stream coming, and then that'll be the end of it. But look, here's the thing. Enjoy the streams while they're here. They will not, I will not be doing live streaming, um, next year. You know, it just won't be happening. Cause yeah, like, like I'll just be honest with you guys. I just had such a miserable year this year. It's just, it just has not been a good year. Yeah. And I, I just can't do another year of live streaming. I just can't. I'll, I just, I, I physically and mentally cannot do it. Big thing, Shogun one stream? Nah. It, it's all gonna be Warhammer two or three from here on out. There'll be no, no more other games. Alright, let's, uh, like I said, let's move on from that, because it, it does tend to bring the mood down whenever I talk about it, and I'd rather not do that. Alright, so we got uh, another army coming in here, but we haven't fully recovered. And it is fairly large, and we can't put down another one of these on it. Um, I foresee destruction. You look right in the end! And we've got this one coming in as well. I think we need to try to utilize the garrison in this next fight. So what I want to do is just go into ambush dance. It's unlikely to launch the attack on us right away. But just in case we go into ambush dance so that we can at least have some troops ready to go. So what I think this one's going to do is besiege the settlement. I don't think it'll launch the attack. And then we lift the siege next turn having had a fair bit of replenishment and maybe getting some more units come in here. Cause like, oh man, Chaos Warhounds, what the hell are they gonna be doing? Apart from just taking out Goblin Rock Lovers. Wasn't it one or two a week live streams? No no no. No. No no no. Uh look people this is the thing. I've been pretty consistent about what's going to happen, but people either don't listen or they spread misinformation. I don't know. We stream in 2022, okay? So there's a few more months left to 2022. Um, I've got one big thing planned for, like, the final stream. Details aren't sorted yet, so talking about it's probably not a good idea, right? Uh, but in 2023, I'm just going to make videos, no live streams. I might go the entire year without a single live stream. Now, that doesn't mean that there will not be any live stream, but I just don't have any plans to do so at the stage. Uh, Yao Pedro Costra did a $2 How would you rate Bellicor on your rating system? A or B plus, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not really rating stuff anymore. Um, because, you know, I might, you know, halfway through next year just be like, oh, I just feel like having a live stream. I've had, you know, six months off. I'll just open up and start up a stream. Might do that. Uh, I just don't know. I don't have any... There won't be any planned, that's all. At, alternatively, there could be, you know, several years. 2023, 2024. It might be 2025 before I next live stream again. And who knows, maybe in 2026, I might go full-time again. I have no idea. All I know is I'm definitely stopping for a while. And I have no intention of coming back. But that doesn't mean I won't come back. Because I change my mind all the time. You know? My magic is and that's... I've been pretty consistent with that. Um, there's there's no real Welcome. need to talk any further Let with it. Keep you in the shadow. Nah, I'm pretty sure we're trading all of our goods.
We still do videos, so... Yeah, yeah, there'll still be videos. I'll still be making videos. Are you planning on making any tier lists for the Warriors of Chaos? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more tier lists for a good long while. I have no more tier lists planned. The last few tier lists have honestly been just a pain in the ass to make, and I keep making mistakes because I, this is what I find. I think the less interested I am in the topic, the more mistakes I'll make. Like the last tier list I made, I made so many freaking mistakes, right? Um, I really thought I was like, I was okay on that when I was releasing. I was like, okay, cool. I think I covered everything. And I just made so many freaking mistakes. And I think that happens when I just lose interest in making tier lists. So I don't think it's a good idea for me to make any more right now. What content do you have planned? I only really have disaster battles planned. So as long as you guys keep sending in disaster battles, I'll just keep making those. Those are... The bread and butter of the, of the channel, they're not necessarily the easiest videos to make. Um, it largely just depends on the, the save file. Sometimes I get a save file sent in, it's just 20 minutes, done. Sometimes I gotta try it 5, 6, fucking 10 times to win the damn battle. If I think it's winnable. Oh shit, they didn't even... It's so weird. If you live stream again, you should probably try streaming during the day. It'll probably be easier with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know what's gonna happen in the, in the future. Yeah, because I think a lot of people don't realize um, how taxing it is. H here's a, here's a big problem, right? There's a big conception misconception that streaming is like this dream job, and all gamers live to <laughs> to eventually make a living off streaming. But the problem is is that uh, there's two types of streaming. There's casual streaming, where you just do it for fun, and then there's career streaming. And what ends up happening with career streaming is it has a way of just like sucking your life energy out. It just sucks it out and leaves you as a, like a dried husk. <laughs> so, and that's basically it. I'm basically, I've had all of my energy sucked out and I've got nothing left to give. I'm just, ugh, I'm exhausted. Um, but the thing is, I can't go back to just, like, streaming for fun, because I just wouldn't enjoy it. Tyne gave me the $10 super chat. I've always enjoyed your content and support for the Total War community in general. Enjoy your next phase. Cheers. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for your support. So, it just depends. I mean, you, you see it with loads of streamers. They just get burnt out after a while. I'm just no different. Um, it helps when things are going well. It does help when, like, like, the game that came out, the launch as well, and all this kind of stuff. So, Warhammer 3 doing as bad as it did, and all the troubles that I've had with, with it, have not helped at all. Um, but honestly, it was not the deciding factor into um, moving away from streaming. I actually already made the decision to stop streaming before I even had early access to Warhammer 3. Um, basically the plan this year was to be like, okay, 2022 is going to be the biggest year ever. We're going to give it one really big push and just like do the best we can with Warhammer 3. But Warhammer 3 has been such a fucking painful project to work with every fucking step of the way. Um, and it's been a real push to even last this year. You make streaming look easy, man. Well, I may, may look, make it look easy, but I can tell you it's been one of the biggest challenges of my life. I couldn't stand to have people watch me play even worse comments, criticize my playing. Now, you get used to the criticism, and a lot of the time the criticism is valid. You know, a lot of the time. Apart from like, Eh, hey, legend, why you know make armored chaos trolls? Like, you get bullshit like that happened, right? Um, but sometimes, sometimes the stuff is valid. 
And nobody likes to get criticized, but you know, nobody's perfect. Stream less, then do other things is your choice. I'm going to stream less. None. <laughs> I think streaming for 8 hours every day is kind of excessive and not surprised that mana streaming sucks the life out of you. Take your orders to the break. Yeah, well... Yeah. Yeah. Thing is, I can't really cut back. I've, I actually tried. I tried to get, cut back to 5 hours. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Physically incapable of it. I. It's like, I'm the kind of person that goes all or nothing. That's just how I am. I have to go 100% into something. I can't half-ass it. You know? Any plans for the future you can share? Uh, for the channel? No. Nothing Nothing really is going to change. It's just going to be less. That's all. Um, but yeah, it just, it's always been... All or nothing. The first demon prince. I have a mind to slaughter. Alright, if we want to vassalize Harganeth, we're... Oh gonna miss our opportunity if I don't launch this attack immediately. This false. The dark master. No. Alright, that army is in really bad shape, plan. but it might still besiege hard. They sacked it. If they blow it up, Harganeth gets wiped out, which is not what I wanted. It's not the end of the world, but it's not what I wanted. Um If I, yeah, if I do this, chances are they'll just run away and leave them alone. Because if they besiege the settlement, I will kill them. This was Have you considered a career in male modeling? Uh, I'm, no, I, I think that opportunity has well since passed. <laughs> what about once a week stream or something of the sort? No. 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 Like I said, it's all or nothing with me. I've given it I've given it all. It's time to go to do nothing. Yeah. I, I look I totally get it. It can it can be hard for people to accept this. It was hard to come to the decision as well. Captain of the ecstatic legion. And I get that it could also come across as whinging, which I'm not trying to whinge, I'm just telling you guys how it is. I am chosen. This could potentially work out really well. We didn't have any end points in a lightning strike, but if I can Definitely kill that not. army in about two minutes, damnation! There's eight units in there. Twelve this in there. Okay. No. Then we can get a shitload of experience, like double experience. I will. If okay to share, do you have a full-time job or just content creation? Dude, I, I work on the channel like 60 hours a week. I wouldn't have time for another job. Alright, so... Alright, I'll try to wipe out this one here quickly. Azazel should be able to manage it. That way we'll still get the full experience from beating them all. It's a compliment, people don't want you to stop. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Um, did you see this Spiss video? Yeah, I didn't really care much for it. I, I, I'll, I'll just be perfectly honest. I really like the Spiffing Brit. I think he's a really good dude, but I think his Total War videos suck. <laughs> He's almost always behind the eight ball with stuff. And the stuff that he does isn't um, even... He doesn't even take it very far. Like, the stuff he... Like, I went and looked through the video and saw it was a Kolek one. I was like, okay, cool. Let's, well, we've already seen it. But... Like, it was basically just an edited Let's Play. So be that was it. Very well. Roger, horseman. He barely even scratched the surface of what Kolek was ca uh, capable of doing. Move. 
moving. I see into your hearts. That all streams rerun, nothing new, but maybe relief for some who miss it. All the vods are still there. You can you can watch them anytime you want. I don't think I've deleted a live stream since friggin' 2018. The only reason I did that because I had a temper tantrum. <laughs> but that was that was live stream. Yeah, the, I remember the last time I deleted a, a vod was I think it was Total War Rome One stream, and um, I think it was that. And the chat, oh my god, they just like went out of their way to piss me off. It was like a mission of theirs. And, uh, I had, like, a really big temper tantrum. And I was like, I'm just gonna delete the VOD. Because this is bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, end the battle. Uh, should I kill you? <laughs> Not important to fix this shit. Come on, Azazel, you- there we go, you did it. Uh, Popcorn did a 10 euro super chat. Man, you're choosing to do what's best for yourself. That's not easy, mad respect. I obviously hope to see you return someday, but you deserve some solid R&R, &R, no matter how long that takes. Alright, thanks, dude, I appreciate that. And you're damn right I do. <laughs> yeah. You deleted one where you said something in DA. Oh, that's right, yeah, 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 I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that wasn't that big of a deal, but I accidentally opened up Discord, which had a bunch of NDA stuff on it, so I quickly deleted that VOD, because otherwise it would have got screenshotted and put on the Reddit, and then I would have gotten kicked out of the program. Although, maybe not, because other people have leaked stuff, and they didn't get kicked out of the program, so maybe they would have tolerated it. Seems like Creative Assembly only tolerate... Sorry, they tolerate it as long as it doesn't hurt them. Um... They've been pretty inconsistent with uh, the rules with um, with the partner program. As far as I'm aware. Cool. That would have given us a lot of experience. Because what I was hoping here... Okay, they're on manticores. Okay, all my guys are on mounts. Now we need to put them on horses. Chariots. No, they need to be smaller than a chariot for what we're doing here. Oh, it was exhilarating. Uh, Solvenara Prom did a five euro super chat. I got lots of fun watching your streams while working. Still enjoy your videos. They help me through lots of trouble. My, my own campaigns. Take care, man. All right, no worries, dude. I'm glad to help. Thanks for the chat. Tillers were great. Should keep them up. Okay. Well, like I said, like I said, dude, the last few tier lists that I've made have been crap. They've performed like crap. I'm just don't want to do any more right now. Blessed they're not. They're not fun the to make. Prince. You know. You know, when a when a tier list video which takes three times as long as a disaster battle does worse than a disaster battle, it's time to say that's enough. You know, they basically with those kind of videos, if they don't hit a certain minimum number of views, I'm not doing them, and they've felt fallen way below expectations. And it's probably my fault. I haven't made them as well as I used to. But I'm just not interested in them anymore. They're boring. The exalted betrayer. Alright, let's have a look at this map here. Please don't be the usual Dark Elf. It shouldn't be the usual Dark Elf settlement. But yeah, so we put them on horses because we're going to cap points. They don't have any fast units apart from her, but, and if they go near them, they're going to get beat the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right, let's do this. The time legend in shit doesn't feel like doing is definitely over now. Well, not necessarily. I do shit that I don't want to do all the time. It just, like, it comes down to this. If I'm going to do something I don't want to do, I'm gonna, I want to get paid. Right? If I don't get paid for it, I'm not doing it. And that's the same with anyone else. Okay? Um, that's just how the world works. Okay? Um, people go and do jobs every day. Most people do. That they would rather just not do. But they get paid for it. So, um... I'm happy to do stuff and not get paid for it. If I enjoy it. But if I don't enjoy it, I'm, I demand to get paid. <laughs> That's just how it is. Part of life is doing shit you don't want to do? Yes, that is true. But... Nobody can force you to do something you don't want to do. For, for no good reason. Okay. Like I said, I'm happy to do stuff I don't want to do, but I expect to get paid for it. If I don't get paid for it, or don't get paid adequately for it, I'm not doing it. Oh, legend, you only care about money. <laughs> Taking action. I lust for your deaths, and I always get what I want. Prepare to die. Yeah, the Nurgle one is going to be a little bit slower. What uh, happens uh, here? Oh. Did a lot of damage. Legions, this way. Agreed. War is all. You're right. For us viewers, it can be difficult streaming a stressful job when it's usually for us stress relief. Yeah, I get it. And like, like I said, I understand the way people can be like, "Oh my god, how, why would why would anybody not want to stream? Streaming seems like such a dream job, but." You, you do something for long enough, it becomes really tiresome. Exalted hero of Nurgle. Come on, move, 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 move. Okay, if he stands there, he can get everyone else through. Hero of Nurgle. Oh. <laughs> just, this is legions. Exalted hero. Quickly. Out of my way. Move. And another thing that I think a lot of people don't really understand, like let's just say something's happening, blood. or you're getting Marching. something, and then you Manoeuvre. deliberately opt out of it, right? Brian. And that something seemed like something that was really good. But all of a sudden, you just opt out of it. And a lot of people can't understand why. But you got to keep in mind that some people value things differently. You know. And sometimes something that had value at one point no longer does. Like imagine, imagine this. Imagine if you had a favorite movie, whatever movie that might be. I'm just trying to think of an example. Um, what's a really, really good movie that you could watch over and over again? The Room. Let's just say it was The Room. Okay, it's your favorite movie of all time. This is probably a bad example, but anyway. And then, then you uh, like. Cool, I could watch this every day forever. And then you start doing that. So be it. Right? Cool, you watch watch the room five times a day. Cool. Love it. it awesome. After two days, three days, four days, it starts to get a bit tiresome. And then after about, I don't know, say five years of watching it for five 
for eight hours a day. Legions, this way. You just get fucking sick of it. Move it. And this is what happens. Watch me fly. The damned prince. So the point of capping these areas here is to get them to cap these points because it's quicker for us to cap it than it is for them. Delay them to getting the over here. Because when they get here, we have to hold them back. Look, look, they gave up on capping this. <laughs> they are fucking stupid. Move. They will regret that. My ecstatic legions. Don't know, man. If they paid me well to watch The Unforgiven every day for the next five years, I would sign the fuck up for that. So be it. Okay. Legions Imagine, though, way. that you... Okay, you're, you're getting paid to watch it. Arcane but you also have to do it. Exalted betrayer. At the same time, every day you have to put on a certain degree of behavior. You can't misbehave. Or else you, you take a pay cut. Every time you misbehave, you take a pay cut. Right? Um, and you have to live stream. No. You have to watch it. <laughs> Whoops. You have to watch it when you would normally sleep. So you have to sleep at a time when you would normally be awake. And while you are watching it, you get to have people uh, poke at you. Constantly. My <laughs> Poke at you constantly. You know, and annoy you. And throw basically peanuts at you. Hey, little monkey boy. Do the dance. Do the dance, little monkey boy. They will regret that. Bastards, witness me. Isn't the same for any job? You get bored of it? Yeah, and a lot of people quit their jobs when they get bored of it. Bring their heads. Exalted hero of Nargo. Yes. The prince moves. A gift for you. Where's the jewel? A season. Prince of Damnation. Time. Now. Quickly. A season. Prince of Damnation. Your will. Wish I could quit. Yeah, and it's, you know, some people don't have the option to quit. That is true. I have that option. Yeah, that's the thing. I can. Exalted hero, kill them. Do you want to do something else for income? I am uh, well, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need to worry about that for a while. All I know is that I don't want to stream into 2023 and beyond. got a bit of a heal that we can do. We don't really need to do this unless the demon prince is coming up this way, which could happen. We don't know where he is. Do you take Chachi seriously, man? Uh, maybe. Well, no, that's just, uh, that's my nature. To, if somebody says something, to take it seriously. Um, I try to treat people how I want to be treated. And when I say something, I usually want it to be taken seriously. Um, 
So I try to do that to do that for other people as well. Will you ever be happy? Oh, I'm I'm fairly happy. <laughs> it's just a, you know, happy is not a state that you can maintain indefinitely because um, that's just not human nature. I don't think. Well, I've never known it. You know, it comes and goes. God, my hair's fucked. Um, it comes and goes. Like, you might be happy one day with something, but, you know, it continues going on for six months, and then you get bored. Or something changes. You know, which happens all the time. You know? You know? Go work for CA after this. Oh, fuck no. Uh, they would never hire me. <laughs> Could it be the overplayed Warhammer Total War? Seems like you're somehow tired of it. Uh, it's it's not really Total War Warhammer's fault. Um, I, I'm sure there's a little bit of element to it. Oh, okay. It's their last settlement. Do I subjugate them? Bellicor doesn't really need this as a vassal. I re yeah, I was just thinking, do I, do I... We don't get any global bonuses for having loads of vassals. They'll just rise up against me. I should probably just kill them off. Yeah, I decided not to vassalize them. Alright. Alright, well, I don't have a very large military presence. Just make Malice your bitch. Well, I was just looking at it in terms of, like, this guy here, right? Like... Plus, there is a, um, a tradable resource there. I know it's not a, a major settlement, but... There's, um... Prince of Casualty replenishment for Chaos Marauder units. I guess that'll help. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I had left Malice there, he would have just betrayed me again. Vassals don't rebel anymore, do they? Uh, I have seen them rebel. If they hate you enough, they will rebel. Infinite knowledge awaits. Enough souls for a demon sacrifice. Yeah, I do have enough for a demon Seek prince. I do have enough, but I need to be a rank 20. Knowledge. Now I'm going to be declaring war on... Oh, look, they're here. Siege guides me. Okay. And now we can switch them back to Manticore. Uh, yep, can the chaos chair in. Alright, let's have a look here. Ah, the slaughter begins. My prayers are answered. Would you like CA making a Total War game that would be heavier on the simulation, like Medieval 2 Rome 1, less numbers, more physics? Um, I think that those kind of specific questions are not really going to resonate much with me. Um, so I wouldn't say yes or no specifically, because that's not something that I really take into consideration at all. I think it, it really comes down to... Um, the Total War games that I enjoy the most have a very heavy emphasis on campaign. Very heavy. Um, while the battles are absolutely important, it, it comes down to a bounce between the two. It's 
they have to have really good battles. How those battles are good can vary. For example, you can have really good fast-paced battles like um, like Rome 1. I, I guess you can call them good battles. They're a bit janky now. Um, you can have uh, really sort of morale-heavy battles. Let, let me put it this way. Battles that the decisions that you make on that battle is more important than the stats. Okay? Um, Warhammer 2... Warhammer... Sorry. Total War Warhammer can be a bit of a mix of uh, stat heavy, but also decision heavy as well. So I feel like there's a there's a good blend between that with Warhammer. I know it sometimes get criticised as being the only thing that matters is stats, but I just don't believe that is actually the case because I've seen so many times like Doom stacks get fucked by situation, and I've seen so many times absolute garbage armies triumph, all depending on the decisions that you make in a battle. Uh, sometimes there is just nothing you can do, but that's the case in every single Total War game. There's never been a Total War game where you can win any situation if you just get good. That there's sometimes you just can't win a battle. Um, wait, do I really need that? Uh, I am alive. Uh, and then on the campaign side of things, and this is as important. I feel like the decisions that you make... I guess it all comes down to this. The decisions that you make need to be impactful. And every single Total War game that I hate, the decisions are, I believe, are not impactful. And every single Total War game that I love, the decisions are impactful. And it all just becomes... It all comes down to how impactful they are. Why do you think I love Medieval 2 so much? Because, you know, you can... You can do some really interesting things with Medieval 2. You know, with the right decisions... You, know, you can you can you can do a lot um, with Rome 2 as an example like, uh, on the opposite um, it's it, it kind of doesn't even matter what decisions you make because there is a very very clear optimal easy way to play the game and every other way that you go about it is just less optimal um, and that is incredibly boring. It is sort of the same thing with Troy, where the vast majority of their roster is just completely useless. Um, they just lose in every friggin' scenario in a, in a, in a fight uh, because of the melee cheats. And so there are a few units that you simply have to get as uh, playing as Troy. You just have to get them. If you don't get them, you just won't win battles. Um, and that's fucking annoying as hell, which is why I hate the battles in Troy absolute dog shit battles um but i really like the campaign side of things because you got a lot of cool options that you can do in any particular fight all right i think i'm at the end of the turn here yeah you need a boom. Now they will set. yeah keep them keep them in ambush dance gotta keep replenishing. i'm surprised they didn't come over here But yeah, like, um, I think one of the things I like most about Total Warhammer is just, like, you could, you really can do a lot. And the decisions that you make are very impactful. Yeah, there's obviously some stuff that's total bullshit, but for the most part, uh, there's a lot of impact. So any question, do you perceive chat as single entity with lots of questions or as many people in a group? Oh, uh, you're all just one amorphous blob to me. No, I'm just kidding. It, it's obviously mixed. You know, there's there's people that never that are watching the live stream that never ever post in the chat. Uh, I try to have any considerations why I keep an eye on the numbers. You know, I can see when people are dropping off, losing interest, and I can see why. So I try to avoid those sort of things. Um, yeah, it's a mix of people, and I do my best to try to please everyone as much as I can. But it's impossible to please everyone. It's just impossible. Yeah. If I if I read too many chat questions out, people be like, ah, stop reading chat, play the game. If I don't read out enough chat questions, people be like, ah, stop playing the game and answer my question, <laughs> you know. So it's just about finding that balance. All right, I'm just going in circles there.
And I like the fact that the the audience is diverse. It's, that's how it should be. I don't want everybody just being of one mind and being the exact same. That's garbage. I don't want that at all. But at the same time, you know, I don't want people who are badly behaved. Yeah. Uh, that settlement really has no value to me. Should just sell it to Aghole. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. You have my faith. Oh, I probably could have asked for more. Doesn't matter, I can just take it back for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all good, let's move on. Okay, at least I know where he is. I will vassal her. I didn't want to do Malice because he's like in the heart of of territory that I actually want to own near my dark fortresses. Whereas if I do it here, he's not that, uh, she's not that big of a deal. And also, I, I can't trust Malice. What about defending Albion? Ah, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll see. I'm more amazed he has revenue from being a Warhammer buff. Well, I don't think it's got to do with Warhammer. I'm not necessarily a Warhammer buff, it's just... It's Total War. The problem here is that, at the moment, the only Total War game worth playing is Total War Warhammer. I don't know. You know, if there was another Total War game that was, you know, relatively recently released, um, that was actually worth playing, I'd probably play it, but there isn't. Troy is... Nah. And Three Kingdoms is... Nah. You know, we'll see what the next Total War game is like. But, I'll be honest. I think the next Total War game is a Saga game. Nah. You know. I'm just not interested in Saga games. I don't think... I don't think... I understand why Creative Assembly makes them. Oh god, here comes a lot of fights. I understand why Creative Assembly makes them. They're probably extremely profitable. Um, but, no. Like, they're just not worth covering at all. Anybody who covers these games ends up with their channels be being irrelevant a couple of months after they start covering it. You know? I've seen it happen, like, people who cover Troy, they cover it for a bit, and, oh, there goes Karone. They cover it for a, a bit, and then, you know, the game dies, and then their channel dies with it. It's just unfortunate, but they they made their bet on a bad game. That bad game for streaming. I would put my money on Medieval 3. Well, typically speaking, with the way that Creative Assembly works, is that they sandwich in the Saga games in between major releases. So Warhammer 3 was a major release, although I really feel like they pulled a lot of resources out of Warhammer 3 um, bef um, before release. It doesn't feel like like the same level of like, do you my, like brain power is being put into this game as it was in Warhammer 2. I feel like a lot of resources are being pulled out um, of it now. I could be wrong about that. And they're just moving on to the next project, whether that... I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, in between major releases, usually come Saga games. So let's look, let's backtrack a little bit. Warhammer 3, what came... What came directly before Warhammer 3? Troy. Cool. What came directly before Troy? Three Kingdoms, major title. What came directly before... Three Kingdoms? Um, Thrones of Britannia. So, they sandwich in the, um, the Saga games to sort of buy them a little bit more time 
to get the major releases in better shape, I think. But that way they're still making money in between these, you know, 18 months periods where they don't have a major release. Uh, with Warhammer, they have DLC to, to help them out as well, but that's not always the case with historical titles. Um, so I think that in 2023, there will be a release, probably mid-year. This, again, this is just a guess. So sometime around May or June, there'll be a release of a Saga game. I have no idea what it could be. Could be, could be Total War Three Kingdoms, Total War Saga. I have no idea. Um, but whatever it is, I don't think it's going to be worth covering. Because they just, they don't, they're not there to be long-term investments. They're just not. They're there to, they're essentially like, what's a good way of putting it? They're the junk food of Total War. They're like, I'm going to get some McDonald's today. You know, that's what Saga games are. You know, they're like, not super satisfying. You can't really absorb too much of it before you get sick of it. You know, cheap shit that you, that you get because nothing else is available. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the way I look at, um, Saga games. They're just not great games. Which is why nobody fucking plays Thrones of Britannia or Troy. Nobody plays them. And they're not even, like, they're not even that old. Love your content, but I wouldn't play a Total War that wasn't Warhammer. I am a Warhammer fan, not a Total War fan. And that's that's cool, I get that. And there's plenty of people out there that are Total War fans that are not interested in Warhammer. Wasn't Shogun a saga game? Uh, Shogun 2 was not a saga game, and Fall of the Samurai was not a saga game either. So... Fall of the Samurai got rebranded as a saga game after Thrones of Britannia came out. So Fall of the Samurai is a standalone expansion to um, to Shogun 2. That's what it that's what it was originally. And they rebranded it as a saga game because it fit the model as being like a kind of a smaller total war game. Even though there's probably more content in uh, Fall of the Samurai than there is in the base game of Shogun 2. Maybe. Um, but, yeah, it got rebranded afterwards. Like, many, many years. Troy campaign is great. Battle suck endlessly. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. But look, look let's just go and have a quick look here. Okay, again, this is just Steam. Uh, hang on. I'm just bad Total War games. <laughs> if I have a look at Troy, Community Hub. Again, I can't check Epic Games um, at all. Alright, Total War Saga Troy. There, nobody is playing it. Nobody. Alright. Uh, let's take a game that came out before Troy. Uh, let's see. How about like Rome Total War? <laughs> like the original Rome Total War. Come on, somebody playing it? Yeah, look, Rome Total War, a friggin' 20 year old game nearly, has some people playing it. That's not, that's not very much. That's not very much, but it does have some people playing it. Like, I, I get that people will be like, how many. I'm, I'm sure some people are playing it on Epic Games. I'm sure some people are. But I would be really surprised if it was a loss. I'd be really surprised. You know, maybe 2,000. I can't imagine it's higher than that. You know, but Troy was free on Epic. Yep, that's cool. Uh, the thing that I'm trying to get at is, are people still playing it now? God maker. All right, so we want to vassalize them. Because that's their last settlement, right? Yeah. We, we can vassalize Dark Elves, right? We should be able to. Harbinger. Who would pay for Troy and Steam? 
Yeah, look, th this is the problem when um, trying to evaluate Troy, because Epic Games doesn't give you any idea about how many people are playing it, you got to keep in mind a couple of things. Some people fucking hate Epic Games, and we're never going to um, get Epic Games to play Troy for free, right? And I get that most people probably did get Troy on Epic uh, for free, but if you look at the Reddit, if you look at the Total War Reddit, you can get an idea of roughly how many people are playing any Total War game in particular, right? There is fucking no activity for Troy. Fucking nothing, right? Every now and again, you'll see a post about Troy. You get absolutely no traction, right? I, I would be very surprised if Troy on Epic Games was still being played to this day. I'd be very surprised. I, shall scar I could be wrong because I don't have the details, but I would be very surprised you if they were. Alright, well, let's see if this comes to bite me in the ass. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to take Kuark back. Where shall we think... next? Oh, the long ships are back. ready. Hang on. Yes, I can. If I take the black pillar. Thank you. The tribe consents. And then I take Kuark. <laughs> and then I give them back the black pillar. There we go. No, you're going to pay more than that. I submit. You can ask them for more money than they've actually got. And then I'll talk to... Harganeth. And I should be able to give them Kuark. Uh, then I can ask more than that. Very well. That way they'll survive if um, that settlement gets wrecked. The four token. Okay, now we go into ambush tents yeah, and we there. just see Talk what happens down. out here. More people are currently playing one one than Thrones of Britannia. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thrones of Britannia was like a complete failure of a game, um, just because it just doesn't have much content in it. So like, like, like I said, Thr Saga games aren't necessarily um, bad games. They're just the very temporary, right? They're not classics. They're, they're the, like I said, they're fast food. Fast to they're fast food for games. They're the kind of game that you play for a little bit and then you forget it even exists. There's nothing wrong with that, but what I'm trying to say is building a streaming career around McDonald's type games is a fucking bad idea unless you are able to move from McDonald's game to McDonald's game and be a variety streamer, which I can't do. So I, I would just never be able to... I, can't, I just don't play games that way. Um, that's, the, that's the point that I was trying to make. I'm not saying that Thrones of Britannia or, or Troy are necessarily bad games, although I'm not a fan of Thrones of Britannia. It's that they're disposable Total War games. You know, they, these are games that you're you're not really supposed to get too invested in. Change incarnate. What? You know these tribesmen hunger for raiding, not talking. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Good. Everyone came in with me, including Harganeth. Herald of change. Did you know you can't do any diplomacy with dead factions? Yeah, I know. Sorcery consume you. You die today. Could be a mistake to hold on to this, but we'll see how we go. Do you know what would be the funniest, most annoying thing ever? Is if an army came down over here and beat, beat this. We're fucking rank 19, nearly at immortality, nearly a demon prince of Zinch. However, this is a reasonably good army. And we can make it a tiny bit better. With maybe some anti-large uh, Chaos Warriors Halberds. 
just in case some big boys come down here. Oh look! Uh, I've already got Chaos Troll Diamonds, ne never mind. What's your favorite aspect of Medieval 2? Um... I require nourishment. Oh. Oh shit, it's okay. Um, I don't know. Just everything. What do you think about Troy DLCs? Eh, I didn't care much for them. I, I didn't Lord care much of for Shadows. Them. Like, with when it came to Troy, Back to former glories. Um, I played it a little bit in early access, and I enjoyed the campaign but hated the battles. And until they fixed the battles, which they never did, I just couldn't get into it beyond a certain point. It was like I had I just, I just wasn't interested in it anymore. Yeah, a lot of Clan Engren stuff coming up this way. Alright, looks like we're back live again. That took a little bit to get it connected. Um, okay, so me walking up and down the house constantly has woken up the dogs and by extension, my wife. So I've got the dogs in here with me. So this is, uh, this is Toby here. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna be here for the rest of the stream. Okay, and I've also got Rupert down there as well. Gemma's okay, she goes, she goes to sleep. So if you hear, Rupert's a bit of a barker, he might bark every now and again, so... Sorry if that happens. Pay the bills, Legend? I did pay the bills. Alright, so over here we've got a battle to do, I suppose. This could be on the difficult side. Such a good dog. Oh yeah, Toby. Toby's so cute. Look at him. Huh? Oh yeah, he loves me. Okay. Alright, Toby, you just sit over here, we've got a battle to do. I think Rupert wants to say hi now as well. No, he doesn't. Okay. Off the dogs to the gods? No. Okay. Because I figured at this point here, you know, we've had so many crashes. Whatever, let's just try to get through the rest of the stream as best we can. But, you know, me walking up and down the house to go and fix up the modem, uh, it wakes them up, and then by extension wakes up my wife, and so I just... Since they were already awake, I brought the dogs in with me. That way she can go back to sleep for whatever, how many hours that she can now. Alright, let's do this. So, we got any more troops here? Yep. Alright, that gives us a few units to work with. Now, we should transfer the... Uh, Slanesh ones into Sigval, but I don't want to waste movement. It should still be fine. Oh, we have got way too many dogs. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give Sigval the best army that I possibly can. So, all the trolls... Uh, he may need some doggos. We've got to take out the artillery. Alright, that should do. Oh, uh, hang on. Transfer this one in there as well. I don't need these wizards to begin with. Give them back. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Maybe having one wizard. Bring the... Uh, I think that, that one's better. Um, 2020. Okay. Now. And we'll see how this goes. 
This could be a really tough fight. <sighs> yep. Okay. Well. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is going to be a rough one. We may very well lose this battle. It could happen. Is that bound? Oh, okay. Okay. I just got to think how best to go about this. Um, they'll probably take a defensive position. Just wondering if we should control large armies or not. Probably should. Because their reinforcements isn't that big of a deal. I don't think we should like put this under AI control because they'll fight like absolute garbage. Um, yeah, it's just that this army here is pretty good, and we're not exactly the toughest force here. Um, oh, what's your problem, you big sook? Okay, um, I've got to get rid of the artillery. Hmm, I'm just trying to decide whether or not to control large armies. I think we'll I think we'll not control large armies. That'll allow me to control the flow of reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's still gonna put us at a disadvantage to begin with, but I think I can manage that. I think I can. This is gonna be the toughest battle so far this campaign. True gamers have remote control power switches for the router so they don't have to get up. Okay. Are they all the same breed? Sort of. Why is Ribbit such a common dog name in the Commonwealth? Uh, I don't know. I didn't name him. We're, we're fostering him. It's not our dog. Well, we've had him for a while now. Um, there's a bit of a foster... A bit of it like it... All of a sudden, what happened in, in our area is that people are giving up their dash hounds for some reason. And so, the there's like a charity that tries to find homes for them. And... Right now, they just need a lot of foster carers. Um, I don't know. Ooh, it's a choke point battle. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, okay. Do they have many monsters? No, it's mostly infantry. Alright, it's going to be difficult to get their doggos over there. Unless we Vanguard deploy them over there, which I don't think I can. Nope, not in a choke point battle situation. Nope. Alright, that means we gotta waste ammo. Because I, I reckon they'll stay there. Alright, well then maybe we'll use the doggos to waste ammo. I bring a tempest. Yeah, we're in, we're in for a rough fight this time. Okay, where's that reinforcement marker? Come around over here. I don't think they're gonna cross. Yeah, they're not going to cross. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, we can use this to... Uh, to waste their ammo. And then... I don't know, I'm just playing it by ear here. This guy's on a horse, so that's good. Sucks that we got to do this, but I can't do anything about that. Lots of dogs been given up to shelters now after the pandemic. Oh, is that is that why? Well, whatever the case is, we have... Yeah, we're looking after um, these two dogs until they can be um, adopted. However long that might be. But the problem is, like, our dog, Gemma, she knows the drill. Like, if I get up, she doesn't get up. She's, she's an old dog, so she just, she just stays asleep for the entire night. And so she doesn't bother my wife. But these two, they're relatively young, and they don't know the drill. They're not used to it yet. And so when I get up to go and fix the modem, they think it's time for breakfast. <laughs> and it's not! And so they wake up my wife.
Would you recommend buying Warhammer 3 now? Uh, you need to make these decisions for yourself. Yeah, I think we can speed this bit up a bit. You need to make that decision for yourself. Um, it's hard to recommend nor not recommend this game. Because I think there are elements of it that are good. And there's elements of it that are bad. And I just... I, you got to make up your own mind about it. I can show you gameplay. But I'm not going to um, sway your decision one way or another. If that makes sense. Legend cheesing the system by fostering instead of adopting. Well, we've already got a dog. The, the alternative is that they go to the pound. Okay, so much for dogs and these abandoned dogs using dogs as kind of fun on the game. <laughs> hey, no, they're Chaos Warhounds. They don't, they don't count. And look, I only lost six of them so far. Alright, we're only wasting the ammun ammunition of the uh, uh, rock lovers at the moment, but that's something. Wish there was a better way, but we're outpowered by so much that... Uh, and we got so much infantry that these ones here could do so much damage to us if we're not careful. Seems like Doom Divers won't shoot at doggos. Do you what they might shoot at? Aspiring Champions. Let's get past this here. Well, two Rock Lobbers. To kill six dogs. That is a worthy trade-off. Alright. Now what we might be able to do is use the uh, aspiring champions to... Because um, they've got a... Yeah, yeah. They've got a lot of... Um, barrier. We could just cycle them to... Uh, <laughs> to waste enemy ammo. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. No! Don't actually get hurt. Can't see the friggin' line. It's right there. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, only took a little bit of damage. I gotta be a little bit more careful. <laughs> I'm crying for Sigvald, use him as ammo. He doesn't have regen because he doesn't have his shield, uh, his, uh, his armor, so that would not be a good idea right now. So, what we're gonna do is use the unit that is gonna take the least amount of damage from the Doom Diver catapults. Whatever that might be. Every now and again, the bloody hits a bit. Too bad we don't have regen on them. But this is probably the most cost-effective way I can think of. Apart from maybe using the trolls. Because they regenerate. But we're going to want their regeneration for the actual battle. And they're not going to be able to dodge these shots very easily. At the end of the day, we're only taking a minuscule amount of damage. And their ammunition is worth a lot. The grindy cheese. Yeah, well, we're up against the odds here. Got to do what you got to do. Because if you don't do this, then you end up in an even worse situation where you're like really panicking. What is the gift of being a membership for 12 months? I don't really have anything to offer. Sorry. What, what would you like? What would you like? Yeah, I appreciate every membership, but I, I really don't have anything to offer. <laughs> I don't know what I could do. Like, yeah. Why don't you use the Chaos Born? Aren't they shit? Uh, yeah, they're shit, but I need their balance of power. We're trying to make sure that we don't lose the battle. See, at least this one here has got barrier. Hello, 
little bit there. Remember, I at least gave an SMR stream. Well, that would cost me more money than it would make me, so no. Alright, cool. All the artillery spent. Now we've got to go and... Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, before we make any attacks... Alright, let's go and uh, put... Orc boy, boy Biggins. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put my units in the trees here. Because they, they do have some archers, so it's going to block them a bit. And they've got some fairly dangerous uh, cavalry. It's going to weaken my monster units by a fair bit, but it's also going to weaken theirs. Alright, are we all in position? Yeah. Okay. Chaos Sorcerer! 78 speed. He could get caught by some of these units if we're not careful here. Good, we saved up all of our wins. I don't... Is this a wizard? No, they don't have a wizard at all. That's good. Alright, Savage Orc, Arrow Boys, or... Whatever we go for. We're not going to do that much damage to... Savage Orc, Arrow Boys. Could be fairly deadly. Savage Orc, Biggins. We wish had some bonus versus infantry here. Um... Imbibe their souls! This. And that'll get them to activate. Oh, that actually did some decent damage. Okay. Abomination awakes. Go it. Yeah, five thousand damage is all going to add up. Can I get a high five and a smile? Sure, if you become a member, absolutely, I'll give you a high five and a smile. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I serve the beast. Death moving. Where's my high five and my smile and my thumbs up? You should have asked that before you become a member. <laughs> you got, you got to, you got to negotiate before you get paid. That's that's what I've learned. Good thing here is that the oh he doesn't have Kindle Flame. <laughs> Shit, we've got flaming attacks on all of our units. But we don't have Kindle Flame. I know the other wizards got it. I think the other wizards got it. I'm not sure. All right, now let's bring them out so that they can chase us a bit. All right, and here we go. Make sure we try to get some charge in there. And let's see if we can overcome the goddamn Black Orcs. Oh my god, why is he always blobbing? So, in case you're wondering, why blob here? Right? So blobbing is here mainly to benefit the trolls. It keeps them from routing, because they got no experience. But also, it keeps them from taking massive amounts of damage really quickly, allowing them to regenerate. Without taking too many casualties. It also allows the uh, the barrier on these guys here to regenerate. So what I'm doing here, having them chase after my doggos, so that they don't all come at us here at once. Because if they send all their force over here, they'll route the um, patrols, who are cowards. Yeah. 
clean magic. It's actually going really well. He has Kindle Flame. Oh, yeah, there it is. Right. Thanks, dude. I'm blind. Thank you. I didn't see it where I'm used to seeing it. Yes, kill them. Slay every mortal. Take on Night Goblin Archers, I think. For the Chaos Gods! Also, monstrous infantry work really well if they've got uh, melee infantry support. What the fuck? Sigvold should be able to kill this dude fairly easily. Good. The gods demand it. Now is our time. Oh no! I always forget about that. Oh, I hate green skins. Death. Oh no! <laughs> God damn twirly whirlies. Oh, that fucked me a bit there. That fucked me a bit. Not gonna lie, that's not good. I always forget about that shit. <laughs> We're okay, it's only Marauders, and I got plenty in reserve. They are hitting their own units as well. Oh, there's always fucking twirly whirlies in the army. Come on, hold. Hold. If there's no more Twirly Willies coming, come on, any more magic. I actually kind of got us surrounded a bit. Chaos comes. Ooh, another Twirly Willie. They're going to hit their own troops as well. <laughs> God damn, spinning loons. Good thing our units are shit. Sigvel's doing a pretty good job. I am channeling. Honestly, it's not too bad. As long as that as long as our trolls don't route, we should be fine. We come down here, try not to get hit in the rear. It's really not that bad. It's not that bad. What's a twirly whirly? Spinning loons. I just call them twirly whirlies because that's what they do. Uh, it's really not that bad. It's not that bad. Like it is hurting, but it's not that bad. If our entire army can just get through their entire army, then our reinforcing army can hand in their reinforcing army. Especially if Sigvold manages to survive. Come on, keep killing this dude here. Alright, we got some reinforcements. Come on, Siggy butt brain, get in there. I need to pull him out, he's getting surrounded. Alright, that's probably going to hurt their own units more than us. Okay, we're, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I feel like we're okay. Good, hit the, hit the rear here. What? 
begin the reaping. Ooh, bit of a rouse. Oh god, twirly whirlies. I didn't account for that. That's not good. Yeah, we don't have any melee infantry left here. Like I said, we had reinforcements. It's okay. What comes in now is just mostly just orc boys. Oof, got a lot of reinforcements. And they're going to be coming in piecemeal. For chaos. Run! Oof, that's a lot of reinforcements that just came in there. Deliver slaughter. Moving. Take this, mortals. Come on, kill their lord. It'll make all the difference, especially against orc boys. Pull these guys into the reserve just to get them their barrier back a little bit. Lost a lot of the trolls, but they didn't take many casualties. All right, at least the um, chaos is magic. The uh, what's it called? The t uh, the spinning loons should be done yes, now. Kill them. I still feel like we got this. I go. Did we kill the enemy, Lord? I did. Okay, good. Taste the power of the now is our time. Oh man, they're spinning wounds. God damn. Right, pull that one back. Going. Hold back. Chaos sorcerer. My magic is ready. That's okay if he leaves. Uh, probably hit my own units if I do that. Oh my God. This world will die. No! Mortal fool. So be it. Very well. Fight. All will be despoiled. This is This fire spells with zero AP damage. Yep, that's why we're aiming for Orc Boys. Yep, yep, yep. Not necessarily the uh, the Black Orcs. I got it. Kill them all! That's what the Masters bid. We're okay. For the Chaos Gods! Come on. Magic is Chaos! All just orc boys. We still got plenty of winds of. Well, we got some winds of magic. All will be despoiled. According to this, we're still winning. I've still got reserves. Finish. The dark gods command me. All right, let's withdraw this unit here. I don't necessarily want to get wiped out. Marauder horsemen. Oh, Siggy, get out of there. Drag us to the souls. Quickly. Yeah, he's done enough. Get him out. Marauder horsemen. Chaos sorcerer. Chaos comes. Okay, let's just with. No, no, I need this one's bounce of power. I, I really don't feel like I can withdraw any unit right now. Chaos sorcerer. No, don't withdraw anything. Uh, don't don't cast spells just yet. I do as you bid. I will rise. Let's just go here. Now is our time! Moving! 
Oh, this battle definitely could have gone better. Could have gone worse too. It's mostly just goblins now. Yeah, it's all just goblins coming in. Chaos sorcerer. Take this, mortals. when that happens it definitely didn't click on ring that. carnage made us to mortals <laughs> tremble mortals charge them running i am channeling uh, might hit my units a little bit, but they're gonna do way more damage to them than to us. Moving. This is chaos sorcerer, consumed by chaos. Yes. And we won. Okay. <laughs> well, the spinning loons. <laughs> that was not good, but uh, everything else went fine. Stop throwing! Charge them! Attack the mortals! Wait, you want to come up there? Toby wants to come and say hi. He's congratulating me on the victory. Did I do a good job? No, I didn't. Tremble, mortals! Marauder horsemen! Now, I don't think any of our units got wiped out utterly. And we would have gotten a lot of experience for us. Definitely going to be a Pyrrhic victory, I think. Not better than what Order Resolve said, which was close to feet. Toby, be cute. My dog licks her own ass far too often for me to let her lick my face. Yeah, but I don't wash my beard, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, honestly, my face is probably dirtier than its mouth, so that's all right. And look, Toby, the doggos took the least amount of casualties out of anyone. Toby's a bit of a licker. Want to go back now? Is the house dog or one of the fosters? Uh, it's one of the foster dogs. My dog is a uh, like a graying brown dog.
What level is the dog? Level 2. Alright, well, yeah, we took a beating. Obviously, the twirly whirlies always get me whenever I pop it in a blob. However, uh, the blob allowed us to use 73,000 damage worth of this. However, I'm not sure if the if that was worth it. Um, I always forget about the bloody uh, blob. Um, it's cool. Yeah, okay, there we go. Can we get along better with him now? Uh, yeah, she's getting there. G Gemma's a spoiled little only child. She likes likes her space. I didn't take that many casualties. Like, mostly in Sigvold's army, but he was the one up front. They're in way worse shape. So, it's a win. It's a win. <laughs> it's not a great win. Doggo on screen is worth 12 months of membership. Alright, cool. Have you ever thought about doing these for fun streams with Okoy or Turin? Uh, nah, I, I honestly, dude, I just prefer to do things on my own. Like, I, I like them both, but I just prefer to do things on my own. I'm a bit of a loner. Yeah, I want their souls. The Fnatic's got 322 kills. Yeah. Well, I guess I made a big mistake. Oh, look. Their Wa army got destroyed. Good. Yeah, look. I'm not going to lie. I I totally forgot about about checking for things. But at the, at the end of the day, no units got wiped out. This army is not going to attack us. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, let's get you to sort this out. I should be able to auto resolve it. And the enemy army got wiped out. That's the most important thing. But did I do a great job of that one? No, I, I really should have accounted for for the um, twirly whirlies. I I reckon I forget to check when dealing with greenskins more than any other race. So if you had remembered the twirly whirlies, how would you have handled them? Use doggos to scout them and take them out individually? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure what I would have done. We definitely needed to blob, so what I probably could have done was, like, just charged a doggo into the, the twirly whirly, in, into the, um, spinning loon to try to activate it early. Um, that's probably what I would have done. But outside of that, usually what I do is either try to get rid of them early, which I didn't have any ability to do that, or, um, like, put summons on them, which I didn't have any ability to do that. Alright, nobody's gonna be attacking me this turn, so you can stay in there, and... Ziggy can go and sit Never over here. Alright. Good. Now we see. Uh, I think it would... Uh, yeah, let's give him self-obsessed and... Yeah, that could help as well. And that. Hang on. He did do a decent job in that battle. Unworthy. Minus eight melee attack in an area? All right. Excellent. Now we just need some time to recover. Don't think so. If if they jump over here, they're not going to be anywhere near as much of a threat. This army is in good shape. You know, for a piece of crap army. For God's smile.
Let us corrupt. We got way too many warhounds. But I've just about drained everything. Actually, Sigvald has taken oh, way more now. damage than that dude. He yes. should be in here. Good. Yeah, he needs to get the replenishment way more than he does. Unworthy makes Siggy a demon. Yeah, he's a demon now. So, he is demonic. So... Yeah, if his leadership drops too low, he'll disintegrate. But he's practically unbreakable with 105. We just need to make sure he doesn't drop to like, I don't know, 500 health. That's that's where it'd be really bad. Alright, well, that was something. What foolish errand brings oh, wow, that's heading towards 75. Okay, cool. Pretty sure wine is very useful for um, us as well, but I'll, I'll just I'll take it off them eventually. Well, legendary lords, you got so far. What's the plan? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I've got uh, Azazel and Sigvold. That's all I've managed to get so far. Valkyrie is up here. Um, yeah, we're about to go and fight Archeon, but it's going to take a little bit to you know wipe him out essentially. All right, construction time, and then moving on time. What are the advantages of making Sigvold a demon? He doesn't rout. Uh, I would say the okay. I think it also provides him with twenty percent physical resistance. Let me just check. Who are these grotesque? Yeah, he gained physical resistance, so he'll be better in a fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, some extra defenses here wouldn't hurt while we're here. Is that his last settlement? You are... No. Okay. God, Archeon. Should have been done with him ages ago. Yeah, none of these are great. Just having a look to see if any of these might be better to switch it over to. No. No. No, it's all good. Wine gives five melee attack to Marauders. Oh, that is, that is, yeah, that is good. Really, really good. Uh, well, I'll try to get it. We'll just uh, see how we go. Um, okay. Nothing else that needs to be constructed, so we'll just save up that money. Alright, I've now got 9,000 souls, and I want to spend them on making a Zinch Demon Service Prince. However, he's not high enough level yet, but we've got the required souls. we just got to wait until the right time, which might be next turn. We'll see. Archeon might besiege over here. You can actually reach. Lord um, just out of curiosity, could I sell this to... See you dead, Finn. No, I, I could, I could bribe him to do it, but I think if he came down here, I've got a decent chance of beating him. Because I've often found that Archeon has garbage forces, absolute trash in his army. But we'll just have to wait and see. Here we go.
Snatch gear for extra movement good? No. Well, it does increase our upkeep cost, but it, it has a drawback. It, it, you know, can be useful. The Nurgle gift that gives replenishment foreign territory for good for the sword price. Yep, that would be pretty good too. Yeah, go and reoccupy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they do that if they... Um... Oh, come on. Win. Win. I'm rooting for... Kislev to win there. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I'm stupid. Oh god, they got so much freaking territory now. Ah, oh, he pulled me out of ambush dance. Is it worth it to keep the settlement instead of having massive vassals? It depends on the situation. So I don't have anyone to give those settlements to right now. That's the problem. I don't have a vassal out there. As Belakar confederated Sigvault, he's level 35, but I still don't have the quest for Silver Slash. He should have just come equipped with it. If he didn't have it equipped, you're not going to get it. Yeah, it's an old bug from Warhammer 2. You don't get what items they have in their treasury. You only get what they have equipped. And if he doesn't have his legendary item equipped, then you don't get it. And you can't get it. There's nothing you can do about it. Any way of increasing the recruit level for lords and heroes? Getting new lords in late game at level 3 seems a bit odd. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. But I have the quest for all the epic weapons. It feels very weird. Yeah, look, I just don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Uh, okay, I don't have to fight this. I can just back off. Could I win it, though? Mm, it's probably not worth trying. I back off. Return. Yeah, I didn't think they'd have enough movement. Ooh, ambush. Dwarf and ambush. I'll see if I can get to Dargoth. The horse building gives extra levels to lords? Well, there you go. Yeah, I just didn't know. Marcel's Heft did a 4.49 pounds of shot. What's your favorite army comp for Warriors of Chaos so far? Mm, probably Aspiring Champions, I guess. Ah, oh, Kazrak, you... Fucking dickwit! <laughs> Attacking the wrong people! He's not at war with the greenskins, it seems. 
Yeah, dwarves are on their way. I'll need to recruit some forces at Concarta. Losing the Isle of Wight, I can easily revive them. <coughs> but yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. <coughs> Excuse me. I may need to bring someone back, actually. I've got a portal there. Why did you decline the trade agreement? Because I intend to confederate him, and I can't confederate him if I've got agreements with him. I don't need the trade agreement. I'm trading all my resources. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have made much money. It makes a little bit less than what it actually tells you it's gonna make. If you're selling off all your goods. I don't need any more trade agreements. Good old vassals. Just giving free experience to the enemy. I love how Valkyr, a Cornet character, has a fire wizard in her army. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, don't you think that was a bit stupid? <laughs> that's that's going to suck. Also, did you know that pirates don't ever attack? Oh yeah, we should get this. Don't ever attack AI factions. Okay, we pulled them out of ambush sense, but I actually don't have lightning strike with uh, with him. Into darkness. Not likely. Lord of Shadows. All right, now being on the attack does make a big difference, but we're looking at a pretty big army. But they will use their grudge throwers at Bellicor. The first demon prince. I am fairly sure I can win this. Time to yep. So it says decisive defeat, but as I've said previously, dwarfs are one of the easiest races for me to fight on the field, as long as I'm the attacker. I know what, exactly what I need to do, so I really don't think I'm going to lose. Yeah, I don't think so. Wait, you can't confederate factions you have a trade agreement with? No, 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 no. In order to confederate someone as the Warriors of Chaos, you have to go to war with them and capture their last settlement. So I can't go to war with someone if I've got agreements with them. Of course, going to war with them right now seems a little bit... Not a priority. Tristan Brown did a two-dollar super chat. Weren't there three armies there? Uh, in the general sort of area, but there was just two in this particular spot. Can you not confed if you have agreements? Is that why I can't confed Volkmar as Frads or Marienburg also? No, 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 no. It's just with the Warriors of Chaos. You I, I just explained it. Can Azazel dominate factions? Not in this campaign, no. Because it's his faction that does it, not Azazel himself. Alright. Do I forget some of the hell cannon from firing? Yep, that's a good point. So they've got artillery superiority, so they shouldn't charge at us. What? Call me Dark Master! Alright, and they will totally just shoot a Bellicor, who has loads of resistances. This just shouldn't be a problem. I got Talisman of Preservation, I really should have put that on him. One, 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 one. 
Okay. Uh, I really should be taking a better position back over here. Teddy Bear did a five dollar super chat. Why no armor trolls on Bellicor army? Aren't they super good? Lol. Okay. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah. Super good. Yeah, they will shoot at Bellicor, we just gotta wait for it. Now, if I do any magic damage to them, they will start charging at us. They should shoot at Bellicor, even with the Grudge Throwers. What the fuck? Oh, that's Iron Drakes. Yeah, okay, makes sense. I thought the Grudge Throw had 150 ammo. <laughs> yeah, Iron Drake ammo is, is that much. It's fine though. I don't know what is this armored troll joke, and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. Yeah, if you asked it, I'll ban you. No, I'm just kidding. I'll explain it. So earlier on in the stream, um, I was making advancements throughout the Chaos Wastes, and somebody in the chat went, Legend, you, could, you should upgrade your trolls to armored. And I was like, nah, they suck. And then a big, long, bloody conversation back and forth with, Hey, Legend, they're really good. You know, you should get it, 70 armor. And then it, it's just back and forth about how I thought that they weren't good and how somebody else thought they were good. And so what it ended up with, because the conversation went on for so long, I ended up renaming all my trolls to Trolls Armored, saying, look, I've got armored trolls now. I didn't actually upgrade them. Um, so a bit of a joke. How to get Protector of the Month trait on Arch Lectors? I have no idea. This didn't change this cheese. It is a little bit changed. You can't do it with small characters. You have to use big characters. Legend, what will you do in Warhammer 3 when they make it so you can't waste ammo? Oh, there's always a way. Imagine 150 ammo on grudge throwers. Yeah, that would take forever. I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be willing to sit there and waste that ammo. It'd just take too long. But well, you know, all their ammo is going down. We're in range of the organ guns as well, so that's all all being used. Then there's quarrelers. Wasting the ammunition of quarrelers is a little bit iffy, because I'll have to get in range of guns to do that as well. Um Armor trolls are really good though. Are we really gonna start this again? Do I really have to go through the explanation again or are we just are we just trolling? Cause yeah, wasting ammunition of the guns is not really great. Uh, Cause it's gonna be hard to dodge all those shots, but the quarrelers is easy to dodge. Okay, the ammo's almost been run out. What we definitely want to do before we um, do any magic damage to them is try to get at those gyrocopters and destroy them because they could be a, a big problem, especially the brimstone guns. Because they do a lot of damage per shot. If they aim at a sparring champion, they do a lot of damage. Or even worse, the hell cannon. Why'd you say that they lowered the amount of people working at Warhammer 3? Look, look I'm just, like I said, it's a speculation. I, I think... Well, okay, so... 
before I, okay. Some people that I know have that have been working on Total War Warhammer since Warhammer 1 have been recently shifted off the project to move on to something else. Okay, I'm very much aware of that. And also, based on what's been going on with the development of Warhammer 3, it is moving at a very slow pace. Right? So, like, I'm only comparing it compared to what it was like with Warhammer 2, right? Whenever there was an issue in Warhammer 2, it was fixed at a much quicker rate, and at a much more competent rate as well. So in Warhammer 3, there was just a lot more bumbling around. A lot more mistakes are being made. Um, I feel like the people that are working on Warhammer 3, again, I don't know this for sure, but I feel like they're more junior members at CA, and more, all the, all the veterancy at CA has been shifted to a different project. That's what I feel like. I don't know that for sure. I could be wrong. Something else like Hyenas? Unlikely. They've probably got a completely separate team for that. Um, it's most likely the next major historical title. That's probably what they're working on. Because, look. Immortal Empire is launched just fine. So, it's an ex acceptable state in terms of um, how the community feel about it. So, now all they really need to do is just pump out DLC. Which is probably what they've 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 got going on until the next you know three or four years. I think that their their best minds have more or less moved on to something else. That's what I think. I, I just don't know. My theory: some of the devs don't play Warhammer too. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Some of them do. Some of them are very passionate towards it, and some of them aren't. Some of them uh, at Creative Assembly, it's just a job for them, and I understand that. You know. Alright, there we go. We took out a bunch of their ammo, and Bellic was a little bit tired though. Oh, hang on. Oh, I certainly... Oh, shit, watch out. Also, those bullets don't do that much damage. Uh, yeah, lots of guns. Lots of guns. Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Okay, good idea. Hang on, recover your fatigue first. Except it took ages to fix the Mortal Empire bugs after launch. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, you know, I, I, I'm used to... Like, I don't know about Mortal Empires after launch. I know what it was like during the DLC times, and it, things got done a bit faster. And a bit better. Yeah. Magpie Infant Sucks did a $5 Super Chat. Isn't CA working on an action game? Couldn't they have been shifted to that? Love your streams as always. Dude, I don't know. I'm just, I just speculated that I, I think that a portion of CA's workload that was working on Warhammer 3 has been moved on to a different uh, title. Why not use Pendulum on the guns? Okay, so... We should do that, but as soon as we cast any spells on them, they're going to rush at us, so our cheesing efforts will come to an end. So, there's still a lot of things here that we could probably probe them for. Okay. So, what I want to do, before I get them to rush at us, is try to take out units that are going to be particularly dangerous to us. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but... Dark Tide is CA, right? No, no, that's Fat Shark. No. Hey, what do you want? Stop barking. Luckily, we can heal. Get them. But I really gotta get rid of these gyrocopters. See, if we go into melee with them, it's not gonna trigger a response from them. They'll just sit there. Yeah, that was risky. Get your regen. 
Nicely done there, Bellacor. Nicely done. Okay, now for the other one over here. Got lots of bullets, lots of bullets, lots of bullets. Break them. Charge. Fear me. Come then. Yes, I see. After I've taken out these, I am fine with them marching towards us. Hey. Yeah, see, it didn't do that much damage to them. Here we go. Now they advance. Yes, it would. Okay, you be out pirate will. Now, it's really important that we take out the iron drakes. Really, really important. Okay, let's pop this down. You will run. Now they're advancing towards us, they're gonna be less inclined to shoot at him. Uh, yeah, let's try to avoid from Brindle for now. Like I said, we're focusing on these Iron Drakes because they are blob crackers. I reckon Bellacor could end up beating, uh, maybe I should. Not yet. Wait until he's in the blob fighting. Did you find a way to see the healing remaining on a unit? No, nope, I can't for the life of me figure it out. Have you found a way? Feel free to tell me if you found a way. Alright, just hang on a sec. Guys, the dogs are whinging. I can easily fix this, so they just need a treat. Come on, shut up. There you go. I'll shut you up. Dump out my fingers. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, don't want to fight hammerers. Magic damage, not good for us. Gotta get rid of these damn iron drakes. So important. Okay, he should have Uh, we're okay for magic. Okay, there's only a few iron drakes left. That's good. Seen the peanut butter fingers. No, no, they just had a dog treat and they, they're snatching. That's all. 
so they, they kind of snap in my fingers. We don't have peanut butter in the house. Come on, don't stay there. Ah, oh, damn it. I shouldn't have done that. Come on, take as much damage. Get out of there. Oh, still not Alright, really shouldn't be aiming for trash like that. Just hold off. Alright, just a handful of iron drakes left. They've got to be destroyed before they get up here. Oh, shit, there's another one over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, whoops, I wasn't shooting. Okay, time to tighten this up a little bit. As the masters bid. I'm gonna get these damn iron drakes. I'm gonna kill three of these. Big attack incoming. Big, big attack. Hope we can hold off against it. Don't forget, we got air effect healing. Thanks to this guy here. Get in a little bit more. Tighten it up. But yeah, this... Oh, no, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt that one. Um, I should probably stop that. Oh, they're trying to shoot at the, um, hell cannon there. As soon as it uses up its ammo, I'll try to get it out of here. I'll move it back a little bit. Alright, here we go. Here we go. You guys, rush over here. Okay, at least we got that one in there in melee. Alright, where's the Iron Drake? Over there. It's coming into melee as well. Pop this down. And this one here as well. That'll heal Bellacor a fair bit. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull that one out. It's just getting shot up too much. Just withdraw from the battlefield. Call me Dark Master. I seek. No. Shadow magic into shadow. Oh, for fuck's sake! They're not withdrawing from this point. Iron Drake's over there, gotta be taken up. Keep using Peter Shade. Here's an armor piercing. Oh shit. Too many guns, too many guns. Uh oh. Uh -oh. 
I gotta get Bellacore out of here, I think, for a little bit. Let's go stand over there. At once! Through shadow! Maybe I should have cheesed it a little bit more before we did this. Still think we're okay. But it's not great. Okay, they're shooting at Bellicor rather than the rest of the, the army. So that's something at least. I just gotta dodge these shots. Just come in for the heal every now and again. Come on, come on, get in here, you gotta no. heal. I feel no pain. Get them. At once. Over there. Come then. Ledger Domain! Move. I am the god. I am all good. Fly. Yes, I seek. Retreat. Tremble, mortals. Swiftly. Spell casting. Get them. Should have cheesed their ammo a little bit more, especially considering I'm tempted to do it now. I reckon once they're out of ammo, we'll be okay. Show me blood. At once. Glad I got Sigvold's trait. That physical Through resistance is shadow. coming in handy here. This serves. I fly. Shadow magic. Charge. Yes. Move fast. Feed me souls. Wings. No. Let your domain get them. Whoa, oh, that was a lot of damage we did just then. Retreat into shadow. This serves swiftly. Fucking guns. Feel the power! I fly! Yes! Come then! Look at the kills on Bellicor! Yes! <laughs> I seek! Shit, this one is being shot. Get out of that, get out of that. Chaos Marauders! Exalted! Got one heal left. No. Make it count. Slaughter. Oh, fuck, like I hate it when that happens. At once! Charge! This serves! No! Through shadow! Yes! Into shadow! I am all go! Get them! Yes! Alright, I don't have any more healing via abilities, but I can still heal because of low leadership. Ah, I've lost my Hell Cannon. I just couldn't get away in time. Lost my Hell Cannon. No! Come then! Yes! Get them. This serves. I really should have cheesed this a bit harder. Yes. Shit, I'm running out of magic as well. Shadow magic. I fly. No. Oh my god, I just inflicted the army losses. I really thought I was losing. <laughs> Actually, the hell cannon might still survive. Alright, hang on, hang on, we're not. Charge. Yes. Come back. Uh did it leave the battlefield or get wiped out? Brand I think I told to leave. I seek. Holy shit, Brand we won! Them. Fucking hell. Did it... I think it got wiped out, yeah. Sorry. Exalted hero of Nurgle. Jesus Christ. 
Oh my god, that really hurt. Get him out of there. This serves. Get them. Try to kill this Scar little idiot. Them. Yeah, there's a lot of slayers here, but I think we're okay. You sort of underestimate them, dwarfs, mate. Dude, I had one army versus their two, and we still managed to win. But yeah, I, I think I underestimated them a little bit, just a little bit. Part of the problem here as well is that the artillery, I tried to withdraw it out this way and they wouldn't go, so I had to run them out that way. So that was... They map fucked me over a little bit. Don't forget, the order resolver said decisive defeat. I seek. Break them. All will be despoiled. We're not as badly damaged as you might think. God Slayer! For the chaos gods. I am eternal. Get me worried for a second. Yeah, yeah, me too. I was worried. My coronation. It was honestly all the guns that were causing me then. No. huge concerns. Yeah. yeah, look, he's just awful at running these things down. Just go after after that one. I was really low on magic. Alright, all the slayers are gone, it's just Grombrindle now. Go check hammer and magic resist. 35%. How many kills did he get? Uh, a bit. Bellicor ended up doing 109,000 damage. But yeah, if we had attacked that head on from the beginning, we would have definitely lost. Oh, I should have put that Talisman of Preservation on him, that would have made a big difference. There we go. Whew, that was that was a tough fight. Heroic victory. There you go. Like, we were very badly outpowered in terms of the quality of their forces versus the quality of that. I did lose the Hell Cannon, yeah. I just couldn't get off the battlefield. But none of the only other units got wiped out. I don't really care that much about the Hell Cannon. Not a million. I didn't say it was a million, I said a hundred thousand. Oh, look at this one here. Didn't take any damage. Uh now the big question is do we pursue them? Yeah, Bellicor did 109,000 damage. Alright, I can replenish by, whoa, 3%. Nah, I'll take the souls. Yeah, that didn't go quite as well as I would have liked. Now, someone said that there's a third army here, but that might be this one here. Now the big question is, do we push on and, and attack them here, or do we, um... Do you take me for a wazak? 
come over here. Oh okay, what do we got? What do we got? I don't have another hell cannon available. I've got some some demons. So that'll be fine. I am the harbinger. You are mine. The dark master. I think we really need to go back and heal. Yeah. Harbinger. We just took so much damage. Uh, if I go into ambush stance, I could stand over here, but there is a decent chance I'll get detected. Moving. Yeah, there's a really good chance to get detected because... Well, I'll just have to risk it. Okay, we got a bit of experience. We can upgrade this one here as a Chaos Warrior. This victory is weapon. mine. The crown of domination is mine. Nothing else can be upgraded. These ones here, we should probably side grade them to uh, Marauders with great weapons. And maybe I should side grade these to great weapons as well. Yeah, but I can't upgrade them to this yet. The first. Oh god, that is such a rubbish defeat trait. Lord I could always torment. just get the Regiment of Renown. Um, Hell Cannon. Uh, I don't really need the Hell Cannon out here right now. I haven't needed it in ages. There's two armies in Ambush Dance near Spite Reach. Okay, if they're near Spite the Reach, then that's fine. They're unlikely to be able to reach me. If they attack me, mm. you what? The first. Maybe I should damned. be out of here. You got any unholy manifestations? That's trash. Yeah, the problem here is that this army here has a pretty high chance of detecting me, pulling me out of uh, ambush stance. I will not disgrace my ancestors. And God we won't be able to take on another massive amount of of dwarfs. No, I will not shame my clan. If they send like loads of armies against us, it could be a real big problem. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to wait and see how we go there. Some more hit points on Bellicor would go. Not to waste. Not right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Equipment. So, I don't think I need the Potion of Toughness so much as I need that Talisman of Preservation. Oh, wait. That was a different item. Wait, what did I have on there? Doesn't matter. It's gone now. Um, actually, I'll put that item back on. Where is it? Potion of Toughness. And Enchanted Shield. You should have a Shield of Tolos instead. Hey, come on. Come on, dogs. Come on. It's not time yet. There we go. So with that, he has uh, a bit more resistance. A bit more resistance. Got another student. This guy's got a student, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. And he's immortal. Oh, he's not immortal yet. Okay, okay. You know what? This guy here could really use the... Um, uh, the item that I've got on the other dude. Where is it? Glittering scales. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta give the dogs another treat. They're really antsy. This is right. Okay, can I go back to the ambush dance? I think I think it would be better for me to If I force march to here, I don't think this army can reach me. I don't think it can. The first demon prince. Because like that's at the very edge of its movement. The and that's in force march okay. already, so I should be safe right there. I, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find up. out. Over the intern. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it would suck to lose that army for sure. Alright, then we also need... Yeah, Chaos Vanguard would help a fair bit. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was going for ambush dance. Local recruitment capacity plus one. Oh, so useful. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Back to former glories. Man, CA just knows how to give the gifts. Alright, we need to put up defenses here, and... Yeah, we're probably going to need to raise an army here. And, yeah, yeah, got to start generating that magic, probably going to need it. Alright, and then just recruit whatever we can in this whole area. Oh, God, manticles, but I, I need everything. Yeah, we've got a lot coming in. Now now the end game crisis is upon us. Alright, now we've also got this stuff over here. Alright, if anyone's going to get the defeat trait, it should be Azazel, so... Lord Conjurer. You come out of this. Archeon will stand in... I'm pretty sure he'll stand in fight. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Pursuing the path of change. Oh, I think their armies are nowhere near as good as mine. We'll, we'll see if they stand in fight. Oh, they do. They do stand in fight. Okay. Alright, just hang on a sec, guys. I'm just going to go and uh, take the dogs and um, give them their breakfast because they, they're scratching at the door. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. That's not Dorgo. Uh, he's uh, reinforcing. He's reinforcing. Okay, let's have a look. Alright, if we order resolve, we only lose a couple of units. Our armies aren't super amazing. Plus another thing is that if we if we fight it manually we won't wipe them out. I'm leaning towards fighting it manually. They got the portal glyph. This dude here. Uh Azazel, how good are you? Uh, you're you're okay, you got some resistances. He should be able to duel Archeon, because he's higher level than him. They'll probably rush right at us as well. Alright, I'm leaning towards fighting it manually. And controlling large armies. Yeah. 
No, should it, wait. I shouldn't control large army. That way, that that way, um, units will come in piecemeal. Same thing with L's. No, no, yeah, we shouldn't control large army. We have the advantage if we don't control large army. Yeah, and that gives us the option to withdraw units that are taking too much damage. Now, blobbing up's probably a bad idea to a certain degree. However, when you play on very hard battle difficulty, you don't want to go wide unless you are definitely stronger than the enemy, which we are not definitely stronger than them. they got a lot of uh, Warhounds here, which if we're in a tight formation, that's not going to do much. Um... Alright. I got some Warhounds of my own. Something of a warhound myself. Your will? But yeah, all these guys Stay here off. have Be got some good master. buffs. Okay, and Azazel can go and harass them a little bit. Uh, just checking these guys here. This okay, he's he doesn't have any air of effect spells. Uh, this one here does. But if Azazel just knocks him out, we should be fine. So uh, we might end up taking a little bit of damage. But yeah, just to begin with, we'll up a bit. Marauder horsemen. Exalted hero. <coughs> All right, let's see what we can do. They will regret that. Why the hell would he summon that right now? What an idiot! <laughs> what a waste! What a fucking waste! Oh my god, look at this idiot. Oh my god. I can't believe how dumb they're being. Come back over here. <laughs> Watch me fly! Could be a trap. Yeah, could be a trap. This way. Very well. Because <laughs> yeah, if he um, if they pin me down, I won't be getting back up. All right, our reinforcements are ready. So are theirs. I really want to snipe their, their characters with Azazel, because I know we can do it. Just sneak me a little bit there, but that's okay. Every time I cast a spell, get some regen. And we got good mandolins. 100% armor piercing on their super armored unit. Watch me fly! I am Azazel! They will regret that. Should be fine Legions that. this way. Agreed. Arcane minds. So be it. Now it's more important that I kill this character than the other one, but Move. he's gotta be standing far enough back. Yeah, if they just rush at us, that's fine. Could do this. Let's we'll see how much damage it's done. It's eight wins of magic, essentially a spirit leech. Very well. Seed in my power. Legions this way. That was shit. Oh, that was so shit. Oh wait, it's not good against single entities. Right, never mind. <laughs> it's not. It's not like Spirit Leech. My bad. I don't think I've ever cast that spell before. Yeah, watch out for trolls. All right, these guys here start running out that way. Exalted hero of Nurgle. 
Predictable. Is this Make legendary direct damage spell good at killing lords? Hell no, it is not. It's terrible at it. I just tried it then. It was very, very bad. Should have read the bloody description. Very well. A gift for you. Azazel moves. Marauder horsemen. Charge! Trying to lure them into the main fight My over here. Uh, sure, I don't want to be. I go there. where I need. That's it, that's it. We just want to get their attention. Bring them over here. This is fine. Come around here. Get into this fight. That's it. They were there. Fast units over here, nice and early. Good, good, good. Even if it means some of our guys here leave the battlefield, that's okay. More reinforcements incoming. Cool. You just go stand over there. Ruinous powers rejoice. Go it. Look how they dance. Kill them. All right. The Marauder Horse Masters there are doing a bit of damage to the trolls. Don't forget the other army is better than Azazel's. Okay, cool, that dude's dead. Okay, Archeon's coming in now, so we gotta be careful. War Shrine will be good in this battle. Which one does it, this one? Physical resistance. Okay, that's pretty good. What? Marauder horsemen. Legions this way. The arcane power of Sunday. Exalted hero. I don't fail. Eat your swords, Marauder horsemen. Fuck me. Come back. Invoking the Fly Lord. Hear me, Plague Father. No! All right, here's Archeon, which means he's probably going to start doing Searing Dooms, which is going to suck. Be okay. Good, get these guys off the battlefield. Alright, all single entities focus on Archeon. Including Azazel, especially Azazel. Let's lower his allied defense. Archeon's going down big time. Bring us the that is a big loss for them in this battle. Big loss. Exalted hero of Nurg. Blessings of war. Come on, wound him. Otherwise we've got to fight him again. And I can't put him down. Free. And it's too late. Hold on. Alright, that's the first army dealt with. Now for Archeon's army. 
Took a bit of damage, but we are beating that one there. By God's call. Marauder horsemen! Attack the martyrs! Legions this way! That's what the masters bid! Marauder horsemen! No, actually, get up here. No, uh, no, no, I'll just keep using this flash magic because it was going to heal as well. Uh, yeah, you might want to stay away from this class, nice and In fact, let's get these guys here off the battlefield. They're nothing more than a hindrance to me now. I am exalted. This is our time. Azazel moves. The arcade power of Spanish. Alright, I'm also gonna pull these two off the battlefield. They've taken enough damage for this fight, I think. My ecstatic legions. Let us bring about an infernal gateway. They will regret that. Delicious slaughter! What do you think of the way the Warriors of Chaos Confederate? Uh, it's not that interesting, but it's better than nothing. Hard, yeah, it's not that interesting, but I guess it. I'd rather have it than not have anything. The Prince moves! Seed in my power! Lord of Change. Nargle's uh, pestilent glory. The damned prince. Moving. A season. Prince of damnation. The gods will it. Quickly. Taking the damage with the tongues. Now, Lord Conjurer of Char. My ecstatic legions. The demon blade thirsts. So be it. As commanded. Channeling Eldritch energies. Okay, so let's use final transmutation here. It's only 12 wins of magic. And it's doing okay damage. Yeah. No, nothing spectacular. But nothing was really doing a whole lot of damage, and we got the magic. Yeah, it's as it is. Very well. Okay, I got something for Azazel to do. Go kill that hell cannon. It is destined. No, actually, Azazel, you stay here. You stay here. You go and kill your hell cannon. For my masters, Lord Conjurer of Charm. 
Okay, there's the army losses. The damned prince, the greed, spellcaster. And they went all right. The damage is pretty minimal. None of the heroes are particularly hurt. A lot better than what Order Resolve said it was going to be. CCR did a two-dollar super chat. Aspiring champion, strongest unit in Warhammer 3? Uh, no, I don't think so. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. I see the prince of damnation. I can't heal any further. But Azazel can still heal. A little bit, just by casting. Yeah, that spell doesn't do very much. It's pretty shit. Uh, might be good to leave some wizards as undivided at that lower the wind's cost trait. How does that work, though? Do they lower the wind's cost in the entire army, or just for themselves? Alright, that'll do. Think CA should have made short, long victory rewards better, and may be have cinematic when you achieve them. Uh, probably don't really need a cinematic. Um, it's not 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 bad if they do that. But yeah, they should probably make the uh, victory rewards a lot more interesting. Some of them are not interesting at all. All right, so yeah, our armies. In, man, look at that replenishment. Or I could get 500 souls. I'll take the 500 you die, souls. So I may live. They were no Would you be interested in a Crocker veteran rating your Doomstack save file? Maybe. It's, uh, we'll, I'm open to having a look at it. Alright, I can't God. get at them. I'm out of movement. Yeah, I'm out of movement. So, physical resistance, feral resistance, melee attack when fighting against words of cast, demons of cast, Norska. That's pretty good. Better than his old trait. Uh, Satanic Greek did a... Sorry, Satanic Geek did a $10 super chat. 10 CHF super chat. Fuck me, man. Uh, started a campaign with Carlito. Uh, how do you manage to... Oh, right. Carl Franz. How do you, do you manage Imperial Authority? Do you stack that 20 points, or do you confederate but keep 3 to 4 points? Um, in terms of Warhammer 3, I don't play Carl Franz, so I'm not sure what is the best way to go about it. But usually what I would do is get all the points that I needed, and then confederate everyone all in one go. Uh, because confederating them early usually actually makes you weaker. Because it opens you up to more enemies, and then you've just got more armies that you essentially have to pay for. So, um, it's not usually the best thing to do to get an early confederation. But, you know, you play however you want. Just always seem to say that because fuckers are always like, eh, but I want to do that. D you know, that's fine. Do whatever you want. Caesar, Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Damnation. Hmm. 
Let's give him Scott Veteran. That'll be good. How delicious. But yeah, I just can't reach him. We hunt. Ah, oh, you know what? I probably could reach them Darkly if I occupy brilliant. this. Yeah. I've totally wrecked Archeon. He's probably got one more army out there somewhere, but he's been totally wrecked. My whims control their every move. Lord Kanjura. Yeah, this is. They're not going to attack us, but I, I can't attack them either. I just ran out of movement. Because, yeah, if we occupy this, we get like a free move point. But. I'd only be able to wipe out this army here, although Archeon's is in the worst shape. Damnation. His army's already fairly damaged. Well, that's a bit of a risk. But yeah, that allowed me the movement I needed to get him. In fact, I might still be able to get Archeon again. Sorcery consume you. What about Zinch Demon Prince? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, yeah, we could probably get that now. Uh, let's. Do I gotta buy this manually, obviously. <laughs> Piece of shit order resolve. Whatever. And here, Boris, you confederate Middenland. <laughs> Pervain is super crap, does less damage than Miasma for double the cost, never use it. Yeah, well, I've learnt that. Yeah, for sure, it is shit. Cody Harrison says, why is your chat so dumb? Literally the same five questions about factions you don't play will fuck you take long. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, um... Look, I wouldn't say that they're dumb. It's more like, think of a mic like this. They're, the people that are asking those questions, they're just not really pay, paying attention to what I'm doing. I can't expect them to know what I'm doing in every way, shape, and form. So, it's not about being dumb. In, yeah. Moving swiftly. And also, welcome to the internet. Welcome to the internet, where stupidity is the, uh, it's just the norm. Also, I think people put it on a fair bit. Yeah, they do it deliberately. stupid as hell bro yeah look 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 you you name me like one place of the internet where people aren't stupid okay there's that look and, and like i said people they're, they're not stupid they're just uh, they've they got genuine questions but they're not necessarily paying attention to everything that they do so Careful about these units here, they're really badly damaged. Maybe I should go wide and protect them. Because it's not like this is any real threat at all. Yeah, Azazel, well get in there and eat some ass. Oh, you fucking kid. Yeah, okay. Uh, a moose named Bob did a final super chat. Does fighting a faction battle called Nurgle, etc., reset the turn counter on your gifts? Or does it only add ability use to that faction's gift? It, it just adds uh, use. Nothing resets it apart from changing of um, 
uh, whoever's winning the great game. That's in a time it uh, resets. It's, it kind of resets. Not really. But yeah, it just adds number of uses. Cicada 3301. Uh, what was that in relation to? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. Look, here's the thing. If you want to know st true stupidity, you want to be going on official forums. Okay, that's where you're going to find it. Okay. My chat is like... More trolly than stupid. Okay. They're deliberately dumb. You probably should retreat them completely. Lost in battle of power. It's not really matter here. No, it's fine. They didn't lose anything. They were protected. Will there be a video rating the Chaos Warriors Legendary Lord from worst to best? No. Nah. No, nah, I'm not, not really doing that kind of stuff. Anymore. Has anyone lost Legend of the Helpless Biffin Brit yet? I didn't watch the whole stream. No. No, I didn't help him. What traits are you going for with wizards now that knowledgeable is gone? I don't really bother about trait farming anymore. Ah, sometimes I do. But yeah, knowledgeable gone. I honor you so change your ways. Okay, before you go and get Sir, Archeon's defeat trait, maybe we should turn you into a demon prince. Please don't lose all your fucking movement when you do this. <laughs> so I can't get it. All right, here we go. Ascend to demonhood, cinch. Clank. Wait, awaits. wasn't he supposed to be metal? Oh, he's got mixed. Winds of magic cost minus ten for lore of metal spells. He does have some Lore of Metal spells. He got to keep his defeat trait. So, look, Veteran Adept of Shaman. Minus 10 for Lore of Metal spells. That means Gehenna's Golden Hounds is going to be completely free. Completely free. Alright, let's have a look. We go Blue Fire of Siege. We're going to need that. Uh, we're going to need... Yep, 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 uh, yep. Six? Why? <laughs> that seems a bit unfair. That's a bit bullshit. Yeah, there's shite metal spells. Uh, I think you'll be able to cast transmute. Oh no, there's transmute. Hmm. CCR did a five dollars budget. To anyone who thinks this chat is dumb, go read the official forums. Genius by comparison here. Also, Legends chat answers many noob questions. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. So I did a eight dollars super chat. Legend, you're my favorite Aussie streamer. All right, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate that. Um. Hmm. It's percentage and not flat. No, no, no. That's not percentage. Winds of Magic cost minus ten for Lore of Metal spells. If we have a look here, Gehenna's Golden Hound completely free of cost. No winds of magic cost. Same thing with Plague of Rust. Hmm. 
Yeah, but his um, his spells were not the most amazing, for sure. Uh, I mean, Gehenna, Gehenna's Golden Hounds is definitely not bad. I was hoping for um, Searing Doom, though. But he's... You know, that's how it went. They show up as bounce spells, too. That's fine. You can use it unlimited times. Let me let me load the save file and see if we re-roll different spells. It's probably all the same. Transmutation of lead, free or cheap? Uh, it would probably be free. Yeah, at uh, minus 10, plus minus 10%, it would probably be free up uh, cost. So that's a really good debuff, by the way. Yeah, I just want to see if it re-rolls different traits. Do all Demon Prince of Zinch have the same spell list? I don't know, that's why I'm I'm gonna re-roll it. Brendan Ginever did a ten dollar subject, couple bucks for the goat. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. Isn't Legend of Total War 6 6? No. No, that's actually Pixelated Apollo. Um, so, see, hang on, let me have a look at this. So, he'll lose Constructor, but he'll keep Malice there. So, we might be able to reroll a. Hang on, let me have a look here. Azazel, Prince of Damnation. Let's just kill Archon, because I might um, lose my movement. Because we will get to keep the trait. We just lose the other trait. That way the game saves. And let's see what happens when we make him a Demon Prince this time. It's probably going to be the same, but you never know. Let's just check. Alright, so we have a look. Path to Glory. Ascend to Demonhood Cinch. Wasn't there supposed to be a Metal Demon Prince? I don't know. Anyway, choose that path. Alright, so... Yeah, there we go. We still got Doom Slayer. Nah, it's the same spell sets. It's the same. Okay. I feel like they should have greater arcane conduit if they're of Zinch. Yeah. We get 50 point, four, sorry, 49 total points to spend. This guy is not immortal now either. Hmm. That's that's definitely interesting. That's definitely interesting. You only really need to put what what, what no, what are you doing? I think my game's going to crash. <laughs> if the Demon Prince got Searing Doom, would that be the best generic Lord Caster? Maybe. I think my game's crashed. Might be a good opportunity here to call it a day. Free Hounds and cheap Infernal Gameway seems OP. No, I don't think Infernal Gateway is cheap, because it's not Law of Metal. A Transmutation of Lead, it would be free. Yeah, okay, well, there's my thumbnail. Um, okay. We'll just call it a day there. The game just crashed. We'll call it a day. We're at 6 hours 42. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so it was a bit of a bit of a rocky stream today, um, due to, you know, internet crashing a fair bit. Uh, I'm still happy to continue that campaign, probably one more episode. Uh, see how we go from there. Uh, but let's go chuck a host over somebody, and I'm gonna get, get some rest, and we'll, uh, be back at this again tomorrow. Uh, once again, appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you're enjoying the campaign. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's definitely not my favorite campaign, but I am enjoying it. Alright, let's have a look. Who should we host?
All right, let's chuck the host over to Jet R. I don't think I've hosted him in a while. Uh, I would host Intensity, but he's playing multiplayer, which I, I only host people that are playing campaigns. All right, let's chuck it over to Jet R. Hang on one sec. Let me just get it set up. If Legend is enjoying Woes of Chaos, that's certainly an improvement over Completely Horrible as it was in Worma 2. It is definitely an improvement over how it was in Worma 2, for sure. It is a big improvement. Um... Oh, he doesn't have redirect privileges. Well, I can't do that then. I'll have to pick somebody else, sorry. You gotta get your settings. All right, uh, we'll have to chuck the host over to somebody else then. Uh, let's chuck it over to we'll chuck it over to Radiant Ash today, who is playing a Nurgle campaign. Cool. Pretty sure this will allow me. Yep. Okay. Cool. Mercy streaming as well. Yeah, but didn't I host Mercy last time? Yeah. Well, I, I just try to spread the the hosts out evenly. Like, maybe we'll, we'll host him next time. No, I can only host one person at a time. All right, let's go chuck a host over to Radiant Ash. I'm going to go get some rest. Appreciate all the support today, guys, and I will see you probably tomorrow. Later, fuckers.